Josh Mander. He's been a member of the Dragons program for the last few years. Other sports teams include the Barbell, Art Club, Prime Committee, Vice President of the Class, and the Academy Bowl. Our favorite team memory is the bus ride to the morning with Olivia. She and I always laugh together. I will miss you, Olivia. So keep the plan to do things forward, get a job, get married, and have a happy life. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Rick and Jay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're here at War Memorial Field in Warren, Pennsylvania, uh, getting ready for Oil City at Warren. Uh, right now it is senior night here for the Dragons, and they are introducing the cheerleaders right now. Other school activities that we have participated in are varsity club and martial arts. The biggest team members include Kennedy Lyons, beating me up on the way to home playoffs and visiting the sport. The state of freshman and sophomore year. Her future plans are to go to college, start a career, long run, get married, the love of her life, and start a family. And we do apologize. There's a bit of a glare. We're facing the sun here. It should be going down in the next few moments. And there is a lot of wind here this evening. And again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Senior Night Festivities. You're watching here at War Memorial Field as the Warren Dragons are getting set to host the Oil City Oilers. And again, we do apologize. Uh, there is a glare. We're facing the sun. We're outside, and the wind is blowing pretty strongly here at War Memorial Field. Club, 
And again, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you just joining us, we're at War Memorial Field where they're doing senior night activities. We do apologize for the glare. We're outside and facing directly into the sun. It is going down quickly. And this is our first year as a member of the Dragon Children's Program. Other school activities include softball, swimming, soccer, tennis, bowling, varsity club, youth club, and yearbook committee. The favorite team memory is going to Taco Bell Run for Black Spring with her friends. Her future plans are to pursue a degree in criminal justice at a college in Florida Maine to study abroad and to play softball. She plans to travel the world before filling down a man's man for dreams. She wants to work in the FBI and eventually have kids with his wife. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Riley Nagar. Our first Dragon football player, Kevin Harry Arlene II. She is the son of Athena Hoffman and has been a member of the Dragon football program for two years. Other school activities include being a member of the famous Ben Flannel panel. His favorite team memory includes growing up and playing ball around they are introducing the Warren football players now here during senior night festivities. Other school activities have been a part of the basketball team for two years. Favorite ten members include after ten years, after the last one. His future plans are to still try to see what happened like this, like what the world has planned for him. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Blake Arnold. Favorite team memory is 
almost getting stuck in a tornado and getting in a cat and cow. So future plans are to attend the University of Pittsburgh while majoring in economics. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Alex Porter. And again, for those of you just joining us, we do apologize for the glare. We're facing the sun out here at War Memorial Field. It is going down quickly, and the glare will be gone shortly. Uh, being introduced right now is Jake Davidson. He is the uh, Sheffield senior. Uh, Sheffield players joined the Warren football team uh, after the Sheffield season was canceled due to uh, too few players. Again, for those of you just joining us, this is Senior Night Festivities at War Memorial Field. 
as the Dragons get ready to host the Oil City Oilers. And again, that glare is starting to fade now as the sun sets behind the hills here at War Memorial Field. This is senior night festivities for Warren as they get set to host Oil City. We are about 10 minutes to kick off here as they're wrapping up senior night festivities here at War Memorial Field. Yeah. 
And our last team of the day is Ethan Wilson. Ethan is the son of Sean Wilson and Jody Ethan, and has been a member of the Dragon football program for the last seven years. Other school activities include being a member of the Dragon baseball team and the varsity club. His favorite memories include lining dinner and getting on the onside kick duty as a freshman. His future plans are to attend college at Penn Tech for forestry and to settle down with the love of his life. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ethan Wilson. are just wrapping up the senior night festivities here at War Memorial Field for the Warren Dragons as they get set to take on the Oil City Oilers here. Listening to high school sports on the D9 and 10 Sports.com radio network. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to War Memorial Field here in Warren as the Warren Dragons get set to take on the Oil City Oilers here. And for D9 and 10 Sports.com, this is Brian Hagberg here with Andy Close. And uh, Andy, you've had a chance to see these Dragons up close and personal a couple of times. They went six straight quarters without scoring and then exploded for 35 points in the second half against Franklin last week. What was the difference in the second half of that game? Uh, Brian, I think it was just intensity. Really, you could see the... Um well, first of all, there was a, you know, some of the senior captains kind of had an impassioned speech, according to Coach Mark Morelli at halftime of that Franklin game. And uh, the second half, you're right, they were a completely different ball club. Uh, the offensive line was much more physical, uh, paving the way for a uh, just a monster second half from James Swanson, who had over 300 yards of total offense in that game, 251 rushing, 81 receiving. And, uh, yeah, it's hard, it's hard to look more different for the Dragons in the first six quarters of the season compared to how they looked in the last two. It was night and day. Well, you said look different, and they certainly are going to look a little bit different this week. This is the first week that we're going to see some of those players from the Sheffield Co-op uh, strap on that Dragon uniform for the first time. And, Andy, this has been just a harrowing experience, really, for those players, you know, from the, the start of preseason camp until to get here tonight. Uh, you know, they Thought they were going to have a season normally, as they would normally call up with Abraxas. That didn't happen. Abraxas pulled out for this year uh, due to COVID reasons. Uh, the Wolverines tried to tried to give it a go. Uh, had a really tough loss opening week against Keystone. Weren't able to get enough players to field the team the following week, and the, their season was canceled. Uh, and then all of a sudden, the Warren County School District stepped in and said, hey, let's let's try to find a way to give these kids a chance. Uh, and they put this co-op together with Warren, and kudos to them. Kudos again to the PIAA and District 9 and 10 for, you know, kind of waving some of those rules and, and realizing these are extraordinary circumstances and giving these kids a chance to play here. Brian, absolutely. And challenging times sometimes call for a little bit of rule bending. Uh, you know, what happened at Sheffield was certainly an unfortunate situation. One that was aided, of course, by COVID-19, not having the Abraxas co-op. And then you're right, the emotion, especially for some of those seniors, you know, talking. I know you got a chance to talk to them, Jake Davidson among them, uh, who thought their high school football careers were done. Um, and to go from that emotion and to less than 48 hours later, oh, no, you're still going to play as part of the WARM program. And again, normally, you know, it's a unique circumstance, but... 
unique times call again for some rule bending. I'm just I'm incredibly happy that the Warren County School District, the PIAA, District 10 and District 9, you know, had the foresight to make that happen. Um, just an incredible effort by all involved. And, you know, the biggest benefactor is these kids from Sheffield who, you know, still get a chance to play the game they love. Yeah, you know, and we talk about for, for Warren, there's a whole lot of differences, a lot of new players. On the flip side, Oil City comes in with a whole lot of stability on their program. They have an 18-game regular season winning streak, haven't lost since September of 2018 to General McLean. And it's been uh, almost eight years, Andy, we've looked since Warren's defeated an Oil City team here. And the Oilers have been rolling through pretty much everybody. Uh, do they change anything here tonight when they take on the Dragons, or do they just keep going business as usual? Uh, this is, Brian, this is business as usual for Oil City. Uh, you know, this is a team, a program that is just on absolute roll. Uh, really quite impressive to watch. As impressive a program, I, I think, and, and, you know, certainly there are several others, as, as we have in District 10 right now. Uh, it starts with coaching. It starts in the off season with the kids putting in the time and the commitment. And you can see that on the field because this, again, this is a team. This is a program that is firing on all cylinders and, you know, they defending District 10 champions, they look well on their way um, to having a great shot to defend that title this year. You know, and, you know, people like to talk about programs that don't rebuild, they reload. And the Oilers have certainly reloaded. Uh, Cam Russell leads District 10 in rushing right now. He's got 555 yards and six touchdowns. He's averaging over 11 yards per carry. Uh, Holden Stahl's 11 of 15 passing, 284 yards and three touchdowns. No interceptions on the season. Uh, Dakota Cole. Eight catches, 180 yards, two touchdowns. Also got a couple of interceptions on defense. I mean, this team just seems like it keeps reloading year after year after year. Yeah, and that's what great programs do. It starts at the top, uh, you know, with the coaches and the players buy in, um, and they've bought in every. And it takes in football. It doesn't take. It takes buy in. Like Coach Mark Morelli has talked at Warren how he slowly got buy-in from more and more kids each and every year he's been here. Um, Oil City, there's complete buy-in from every single kid on that on that field, on that sideline, and really the results are speak for themselves. Okay, so if you're the Dragons here tonight, what do you have to do to end this losing streak against Oil City and, and stop their regular season winning streak? Well, you have to get off to a quick start. If they, being totally honest, if they get off to the kind of start they get against Franklin, uh, they're going to be in trouble against this team. If they play the way they did in the second half against Franklin, they have a shot. Um, but, but again, this is this is a tall, tall task for Warren tonight. But they do have a very veteran roster, as Coach Mark Morelli pointed out, and really one that's still getting its feet under them. You know, not playing Week One because of the uh, COVID nineteen situation. So, you know, having getting another week of practice, another week of stability under their belt, I'm sure is going to make a difference for this team. Good. Thanks, Andy. And uh, you've been listening to the Rehab Center pregame show here on D9 and 10 sportscom uh, dri- This drive to the game has been brought to you by Warren Tire Center. Warren Tire Center, make sure you get to the game in comfort. And our game stream tonight is being brought to you by the computer guru of Leaper. We're going to take a quick break and get ready for kickoff. For all your automotive needs, look no further than the Warren Tire Center. From new tires to tire repairs, PA state inspections, wheel alignments, and auto detailing, there's so much more that we can do for you, and there's no reason to go anywhere but the Warren Tire Center in Warren, Pennsylvania. With over 40 years of serving the Warren and surrounding communities, it's always been a great day at the Warren Tire Center. We offer same-day service, and walk-ins are welcome. Open Monday through Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. The Warren Tire Center can be reached at 814-723-8050 and on the web at warrentirecenter.com. Hi, this is Chris Rossetti from D9and10sports.com. If you're like me, you may have experienced some aches and pains like a sore back, a stiff neck, or a wonky knee. Well, I've got the place for you. The Rehab Center with six convenient locations, including in Brookville, Clarion, and Catanning, is the place to go. The friendly staff and knowledgeable doctors will get you back in the game quicker than quick. I know, I've been going to them since 2009. So the next time your back, neck, knee, shoulder, or anything else acts up, call them for an appointment at 724-478-1501. 
Swift Kennedy and Company in Dubois is an independent property and casualty insurance agency and the official insurance agency of D9 and 10 Founded in 1921 by Patrick J. Swift and Albert D. Kennedy, our success has been built on service and attention to our clients' needs. Our philosophy is service and our hallmark is integrity. Visit Swift Kennedy and Company on the web at swiftkennedyandco.com or call them today at 814 814- 3715270 Swift Kennedy and Company insurance with integrity since 1921 You're listening to High School Sports on the D9 and 10 sportscom radio network And welcome back to War Memorial Field here in Warren. As the Dragons have taken the field, they get set to host the Oil City Oilers here tonight. And uh, Andy, what are your uh, keys to the game this evening? Well, Brian, Warren has to get off to a quick start tonight. Uh, you know, that would do wonders for their confidence. Oil City's been rolling along. If you let them get off to a quick start, uh, that would be worst-case scenario for Warren. It could be game over quickly. They need to come out and establish themselves on both sides of the line that they're here to compete. And if they do that, um, you know, we could have a heck of a ball game on our hands. Okay, Andy's keys to the game have been brought to you tonight, to, brought to you tonight by Park Avenue Motor Car. Have a fender bender? We can mender at Park Avenue Motor Car. Stop in and see Ron at the crew at 7 South Carver Street. Park Avenue Motor Car, proudly serving Warren County for 30 years. Presenting Key Bank Smart Checking. Enjoy the freedom of free with an account that fits your lifestyle. The smart choice for a checking account is simple. It's the one that matches your needs and the way you want to live. That means an account with no monthly fees, so your money is your money. It means easy access to your money and digital tools that allow you to bank anytime, anywhere. And it means special tools that help you make even more financial progress, sometimes without even trying. Visit branch manager Tina Dell at 315 2nd Avenue, Warren, PA, or give her a call at 814-723-5355. Okay, we are just about set for the opening kickoff here. Uh, Oil City is going to kick off. Dragons will receive back deep for Warren is number nine, Ben White. And that's Ken Russell kicking off, and we are underway here at Warren Memorial Field. The ball is fielded at the 15 by Ethan Wilson. He's trying to find some space, can't find any. Gets out to the 24, and that's where the Dragons will take over. Okay, so it will be first and 10 for the Dragons, their own 24-yard line. We have 11.54 to go in the first quarter. Tonight's first quarter is brought to you by Icy Inc. in Warren. And quarterback Micah Passmore breaks the huddle. He'll be back in the gun. Has Alex Borger with him to his left. Two receivers to each side. Passmore takes a snap. He's looking to throw. Fires it over the middle. Looking for Ethan Wilson. Good coverage there by number 24, Sean Stack for Oil City. Held up Wilson so that he couldn't get to that pass. Brings up a second and 10 for the Dragons. Passmore looking to the sideline here to get the play. Dragons have it now. Borger again to Passmore's left. Three receivers bunched to his right. Pass one to pass. He's under pressure, and he is down. Sacked in the backfield by number 30, Brandon Epley, for a big loss. Looks to be about a 10-yard loss on the play. Brings up a third and long for the Dragons. And when you get backed up on third and long, call Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning to get you moving again. Third and 19 now for Warren. All the way back on their own 13 yard or 14 yard line, excuse me. And we have flags down. Looks like a false start on the Dragons, so that'll back them up even farther into their own end. Warren now going to be faced with a third and 24 
from their own nine yard line. Passmore in the gun, two receivers to each side, drops back, rolls right, has a man out across the 15. That is Gage Schaefer. Gets some of the penalty yardage back, but that's about it. Brings up a fourth down. Dragons on their own 16 by a host of Dragons. Looks to have gotten back about to the original line of scrimmage there. No gain. Second and 10 on the play. Looked like there was a hole there for a moment for Russell, and then he was met immediately by three Dragon defenders. So second and 10 now for the Oilers, 9.45 to go first quarter. No score here at War Memorial Field. Stahl takes a snap, gives to the up man. And it looks like that was a foul on the play. That was number uh, 28, Zach Kiefer, had the ball stripped, and the Dragons take over that in midfield. Big play defensively for Warren there. Kiefer seemed to have some room. And then the ball just was stripped right out of his hands. So Dragons will take over now. First and 10 right at midfield. Passmore in the gun looks like Swanson in the backfield with him. And the pitch is to Swan, or excuse me, that is boarded off the right side. Had a little bit of room, gets out right to the 45-yard line. So Warren in Oil City territory now. Five-yard pickup for Borger there. Second and five for the Dragons on the Oil City 45. Passmore now, Borger to his right. Two receivers to each side. Passmore looking to pass, he's under pressure, he's hit and sacked. Looked like that was uh, Russell that got to him first. Loss of about three on the play brings up a third and eight for Warren. We do apologize if there's been some technical difficulties. Uh, Andy's over here working feverishly to get them fixed for you folks. Third and eight now for the Dragons. Passmore takes the snap, looks to throw. He had Swanson, but led him a little too far. It falls incomplete. So that'll bring up fourth down. Swanson had some space there, but uh, Passmore put the ball just a bit too far in front of him on that one. So Ziegler comes on to punt again. And Dakota Cole back deep. Looks like he's going to put his heels about on the 19. And Ziegler takes the snap. Under pressure, nearly blocked, but he does get it away. And the ball will roll into the end zone for a touchback. Ziegler fortunate enough to get fortunate to get that kick away, but he does, and it rolls into the end zone for the touchback. So Oil City will get their second possession of the first quarter, uh, right on the 20-yard line. 8:40 to go here, first quarter. No score. Warren and Oil City from War Memorial Field. Founded in 1998, Borger and Horsley, attorneys and counselors at Laws, located at 301 Market Street in Warren, in one of Warren's stately Victorian homes. Our firm takes great pride in providing legal service in a personal and caring manner. Contact us today at 814-723-5030. And on the first play for Oil City, Stahl passes to Russell, who gets out along the edge for a big gain. All the way out to looks like the 34-yard line. So a 14-yard pickup there for Russell on first end for the Oilers from their own 34.
First down now. Stall under center. Takes a snap and pitches to the left this time. Russell again, but this time he is met and hit right at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a short loss on the play. Again, looked like he was going to have some space, and then that hole just closed up quickly. He does get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe fell forward for a few inches on that one, but it will be second and a uh, long nine, we'll call it. And Stahl gives again. And this time, 42. Brings up a third and two for the Oilers here. Third and two now for Oil City. Stahl pitches to Russell. He's got some space, but gets hit by Swanson. He may have enough for the first down. It looks like he does based on that spot. He does get out to the 45-yard line, so that will be a first down for Oil City. Swanson had Russell wrapped. Looked like just in front of the line of scrimmage, but uh, couldn't stop that forward momentum, and Oil City does pick up the first down. First and 10 now for the Oilers from their own 45. Give it to the up man, Kaifer, who spins away from a tackle and then goes out across the 45 to the 42-yard line of Warren. Another first down. And that Oil City running game is starting to get rolling a little bit. So first and 10 for Oil City. They will run their first play in Dragon territory of the game. 6.30 to go in a scoreless first quarter here at War Memorial Field. Stahl keeps, then pitches to Russell. Tries to spin away, but he will get taken down for a loss. Micah Passmore comes up and gets him for a loss of about one. Russell was able to spin and, and fall forward to avoid a bigger loss there, but it brings up a second and 11 for Oil City. So second and 11 now for the Oilers. Stahl drops back to pass. Looking down the middle, he has a man. It is Dakota Curry who gets all the way down inside the 10 to the five yard line. There is an injured dragon on the play. Donovan Fisk is slow to get up. Fisk is laboring a bit, but does look like he's going to be able to get off the field under his own power here. And Oil City now has a first and goal from the five-yard line. So Stahl under center now. And he will give to Russell up the middle. Breaks away from one tackle and gets in for the only touchdown. With 5.19 to go here in the first quarter. The Oilers have taken the 6-0 uh, lead. So Cam Russell plunges in from five yards out, stretched across the goal line to get Oil City on the board here at War Memorial Field. 
And the Oilers are lining up. Looks like they're going for two. And Stahl looking to pass. Rolling to his right. Fires. Had looked like Cole had it for a second, but couldn't hang on to it. So the two-point conversion is no good, but with 5.19 to go here in the first quarter, Oil City leads Warren 6-0. You are listening to High School Football on d 9 and 10 sportscom Chris Rossetti here from d 9 and 10 sportscom I wanted to take a second to tell you about one of the best restaurants in all of western Pennsylvania, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, PA. With indoor and outdoor dining, you can enjoy prime rib all weekend long, or perhaps it is their full wing served on Thursday wing nights that you're after. From celebrating a special occasion to hanging out with family and friends, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg is the place to be. As they like to say, you come for the food and you stay for the view. Reserve your table today at AlleghenyGrill.com. Icy Ink Screen Printing and Embroidery located at 2043 Pennsylvania Avenue East in Warren. We offer screen printing and embroidery on apparel as well as graphic design, web design, photography, and custom frames and specialize in youth fundraisers. We also offer photography photography services and custom frames. Check out our Icebox stores online at IcyInc.com or give us a call at 814-688-0034. Let's meet, drink coffee, and design some cool shirts. Be cool, wear Icy. Welcome back here to War Memorial Field with 5.19 to go in the Icy Inc. first quarter. Oil City leads Warren 6-0. Squib kick fielded at the 30 by Alex Borger. He gets out across the 35 to the 37-yard line, and that's where, that's where Warren will take over here as they trail 6-0 to Oil City. <laughs> Uh, and again, we do understand some of you are having some uh, technical difficulties with our feed. We are working to get that corrected for you as soon as we can. Uh, that's why you've heard no one but me. Andy's working very hard over here to uh, try to get everything working for everyone. And we do appreciate you guys sticking with us and joining us here at D9and10sports.com for this high school football game here at War Memorial Field between the Warren Dragons and Oil City Oilers. So Warren takes over first and 10 now at their own 37. Passmore with Borger to his left. Passmore looking to throw. Gets flushed. He's under pressure. Rolling right. He will not escape Cam Russell. He has dropped all the way back at the 26-yard line. A nine-yard loss on the play. Passmore just had nowhere to go. All his receivers were covered, and uh, he could not escape Russell's pressure on that play. So that will bring up a... Second and 21. Sorry, that was an 11-yard loss on the play. So second and 21 now for the Dragons. Passmore pitches to Borger on the right side. Borger gets to the sideline, gets out. Looks like just about to the 30, maybe the 29. He did get to the 29-yard line, so an 8-yard pickup for... Uh, Alex Borger on the play. Or, excuse me, a three-yard pick. Wow. Having some trouble with my math tonight, folks. I do apologize for that. Brings up a third and long for the Dragons. And when you find yourself in third and long, call Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning to get you moving again. Pass more back to pass. He's flushed again. Hit and dropped. This time it was Braden Crocker who got to him. Third sack of the game for the Oilers here in the first quarter. Brings up a fourth and 25 for the Dragons. Ziegler comes in to punt again. And a high snap back. Ziegler up. He gets it. Gets the kick away just barely again. And takes an Oil City bounce at midfield, but they will take over in Dragon territory on the Warren 49-yard line. And the Oil City Oilers lead Warren Dragons 6-0, 3.45 to go here in the Icy Inc. first quarter. 
Founded in 1998, Borger and Horsley, attorneys and counselors at law, is located at 301 Market Street in Warren, in one of Warren's stately Victorian homes. Our firm takes great pride in providing legal service in a personal and caring manner. Contact us today at 814-723-5030. And we're being told that uh, that last sack by Cam Russell is a school record for him, so congratulations to, to Russell on that record. Stall back to pass, fires over the middle, has cracked wide open, and he will walk into the end zone. Star Crocker, 49 yards for the touchdown. 3.37 to go here in the first quarter, and Oil City has doubled its lead, 12-0 now over the Warren Dragons. Stall dropped back to pass on that play, looked over the middle, and Crocker was just walking down the middle of the field wide open. He caught it about the 20 and had nothing but green in front as he walked into the end zone. It's now 12-0 Oil City as they get prepared for the two-point conversion attempt. And stall pitches. That is number 24, Sean Stack. And he gets in. It is now 14-0 Oil City with 3.37 to go here in the Icy Inc. first quarter. You are listening to High School Football on d 9 and 10 sportscom Kennedy and Company in Dubois is an independent property and casualty insurance agency and the official insurance agency of d 9 and 10 sportscom Founded in 1921 by Patrick J. Swift and Albert D. Kennedy, our success has been built on service and attention to our clients' needs. Our philosophy is service and our hallmark is integrity. Visit Swift Kennedy and Company on the web at swiftkennedyandco.com or call them today at 814 814- 3715270 Swift Kennedy and Company insurance with integrity since 1921 Need plumbing, heating or air conditioning services in Western PA? Then call Luton's Plumbing, Heating and Air Conditioning in Clarion today at 814-226-8695. At Luton's Plumbing, Heating and Air Conditioning, we believe that a service-oriented business like ours should give you quality care and a quick response time. That's why we stand on our promise, offering you reliable 24-hour service that gets your job done right when you need it. We can also be found on the web at lutonsplumbing.com. Again, that number is 814-226-8695. And welcome back to War Memorial Field here on d 9 sportscom High School Football. Oil City kicks off. They lead Warren 14 to nothing in the first quarter. Wilson picks up that squib kick. Gets out across the 35 to about the 37-yard line, and that's where the Dragons will take over. I do want to take a minute to say tonight's broadcast is being brought to you in part by the Oil City Education Association, proudly supporting Oilers football. Oil City Education Association, proudly supporting Oilers football. Hashtag Oilers together. 3.32 to go here in the first quarter. Warren trails Oil City 14-0. Dragons take over on their 37-yard line. Passmore in the gun. Has Swanson with him to the left. Takes a snap, looking to pass. And Passmore will tuck it and run. Gets out across the 40 to the 41-yard line. And Passmore didn't see anything that he liked. He's been under pressure a lot already in this first quarter, so he just tucked it and ran. Picks up about four yards on the play, brings up a second and six. Drag is now looking to the sideline as they get the play. They have it. Passmore swings it out to Borger. Gets away from one man. He's still going down the sideline. He'll have enough for the first down before he's knocked out of bounds. Passmore to Borger on the little swing pass. Has Warren almost to midfield there at the 49, but it will be first down for the Dragons. Two forty to go here in the first quarter. Oil City leads 14 to nothing. Warren just picked up a first down on a nice little swing pass from Passmore to Borger. 
Borger now to uh, Passmore's right. Two receivers to each side. Passmore looking to throw. Swings it out again. Borger can't corral it. Are they going to call that a, a backwards pass? They are. That is a, ba a backwards pass. So the Dragons end up losing yards on that play. As Passmore was trying to avoid the defender with the throw, drops him back all the way to the 41-yard line. That's an eight-yard loss on the play. Brings up second and 18 for the Dragons. Warren has the play now. Passmore looking. Throws to the sideline over the receiver's head and almost intercepted by Dakota Cole. Went through his hands right after it went through uh, Gage Schaefer's hands on the sideline now. It brings up a third and 18 for Warren. And when you get backed up on third and long, call Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning to get you moving again. Passmore now comes out, puts Borger to his right, has Bunch to his left. Looking to throw. Has Schaefer. Schaefer catches it and is hit immediately by Kiefer and Stallman there. And that will bring up a fourth down for Warren. Almost back to the line of scrimmage, but it is fourth and 12 for the Dragons. With a minute to go here in the first quarter, Ziegler's on to punt again. Ziegler gets the snap, gets the kick away, and it will go out of bounds. And let's see where they spot it here. So the punt goes out of bounds at the Oil City 37-yard line, and that's where the Oilers will take over with 45 seconds to go here in the Icy Ink first quarter. Icy Ink screen printing and embroidery located at 2043 Pennsylvania Avenue East in Warren. We offer screen printing and embroidery on apparel as well as graphic design, web design, photography, and custom frames, and specialize in youth fundraisers. We also offer photography, photography services and custom frames. Check out our Icebox stores online at icyinc.com or give us a call at 814-688-0034. Let's meet, drink coffee, and design some cool shirts. Be cool. Wear Icy. Stall gives to Russell on first down here. Russell's got room along the sideline. One man to beat. And Russell will go 63 yards for the Oil City touchdown. 35 seconds to go here in the first quarter, and Oil City has taken a three-possession lead, 20 to nothing, over the Dragons. And Russell took that pitch, and once he got to the edge, he was gone, showing off some of that great speed that he's got and why he's the <laughs> District 10's leading rusher to this point. So again, with 35 seconds to go here in the first quarter, Oil City leads 20 to nothing over Warren. Oilers break the huddle with 12 seconds on the play clock as they go for two. And there is a timeout. Oil City didn't like what they saw, so they call a timeout. That is their first time out of the half. We'll take one with them. 35 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Oil City leads 20 to nothing. For all your automotive needs, look no further than the Warren Tire Center. From new tires to tire repairs, PA state inspections, wheel alignments, and auto detailing, 
there's so much more that we can do for you, and there's no reason to go anywhere but the Warren Tire Center in Warren, Pennsylvania. With over 40 years of serving the Warren and surrounding communities, it's always been a great day at the Warren Tire Center. We offer same-day service, and walk-ins are welcome. Open Monday through Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m., the Warren Tire Center can be reached at 814-723-8050 and on the web at warrentirecenter.com. You're listening to High School Sports on the D9and10sports.com radio network. And we are back here at War Memorial Field. 35 seconds to go in the first quarter. Oil City just got a 63-yard touchdown from Cam Russell getting set to go for two. And Stahl pitches... And that is Stack, and he is stacked up, does not get in. But still, with 35 seconds to go, Oil City already with a 20 to nothing lead over the Warren Dragons here at War Memorial Field. And again, folks, uh, we know some of you have had some uh, te technical difficulties with the feed. Again, we apologize for that. Uh, Andy's been over here working very hard to get everything uh, corrected. We hope we have everything corrected now for, for everyone. And, uh, again, we appreciate you sticking with us here on D9and10sports.com as we bring you uh, high school football action here from War Memorial Field. It is uh, the home opener for the Dragons. They come in one and one after a big win at Franklin last week. But uh, this is not the way they wanted to uh, start their, their home opener and certainly not uh, on senior night. Yeah, Oil City comes out to kick off again now. Russell getting the ball set. Ben White, number nine, back deep for the Warren Dragons. Uh, Russell has squibbed the last couple. Borger fielded one, Ethan Wilson another. And we'll see what he does with it here. And he kicks this one a little bit deeper. It's going to bounce, bounce wide. Let's it roll out of bounds. Smart play there by uh, Ben White. Was ready to field the ball if he had to, but let it go, and it bounced out of bounds. So the uh, Dragons will take over with some pretty good field position, trailing 20 to nothing here with 35 seconds to go here in the first quarter. So Dragons break the huddle. They take over first and 10 at their own 35-yard line, trailing Oil City 20 to nothing. Passmore back has Borger to his right. Two receivers to each side. Schaefer in motion. Passmore looking to throw. He's under pressure. Cropper couldn't quite get him. Passmore gets away. Gets the edge on the right side and gets out to the 40-yard line before uh, Zach Kiefer takes him down. But a five-yard pickup for Passmore. We'll see if the Dragons want to run another play here in the first quarter. Oh, sorry, they put him just shy of the 40 at the 39, so a th uh, four-yard pickup. And it looks like the Dragons are going to let the quarter expire. So after the Icy Inc. first quarter here at War Memorial Field, Oil City has a 20 to nothing lead over the Warren Dragons. You're listening to High School Football on D9and10sports.com. Are you an employer frustrated and confused by the new health care laws? Is your business growing to almost 50 employees or more? Are you a small employer looking to recruit new employees or keep your current employees satisfied? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then Charles Leach is here for you. 
Hi, I'm Lisa Leach Goth from Charles Leach in New Bethlehem. We offer group health plans for any type of business, regardless of the amount of employees. Looking for medical, dental, vision, disability, life? You won't find cookie cutter plans here. We can help you create unique, affordable plans that work well for both you and your employees. Don't keep putting off your company's health care. The time to start planning is now. Call 888-CP-LEACH or stop by our office on Broad Street in New Bethlehem to set up your group health plans today. That's 888-CP-LEACH. Visit us online at leachagency.com or like us on Facebook. Charles Leach, protecting you like family. Uh, Welcome back here to War Memorial Field. We're just starting the second quarter. Oil City leads Warren 20 to nothing. Passmore pitches to Border off the left side, looking for the edge, gets a block from Passmore. But they didn't have enough blockers out in front for Border, and he gains a couple on that play. We'll bring up a third and four for the Dragons. So Passmore will have Swanson in the backfield with him for this play. Swanson to Passmore's right. The pitch is to Swanson. He's got some room, spins away from him in, gets up to the 45, and looks like he should have enough for the Warren first down. And, you know... Andy, that's only the second time they've gone to Swanson this game. You'd yeah. think they'd want to get him more involved. Yeah, a big surprise at this point, Brian. Of course, Swanson, 251 rushing yards last week in the win over Franklin. Uh, look for him to get more involved here in the second quarter. Uh, looks like the officials are conferring o- over something here. Maybe they wanted a measurement before the first down, but they've, uh, they've already moved the chains, but they are moving them back. Oh, we've got an illegal shift here for the Dragons. Apologize for that, folks. Did not see the penalty flag on the field on that play. Well, penalties few and far between. It was a very clean first quarter. It's very much a clean quarter in that. Now they've moved the ball all the way back to the 35. So Warren now basically has third and 10 from the 35. Passmore drops back, tried to find Swanson over the middle, but it's knocked down by Crocker. And that'll bring up another fourth down for the Dragons. And Andy, welcome back into the game. Well, thanks, Brian. That was a that was a very good play by Crocker to get his hands up. Uh, Swanson looked like he had some room there, and Passmore saw him. But again, a very nice play by Crocker to get his hands up and force a Dragon punting situation. And again, Andy's back with us, folks. He's been trying to take care of some of those technical difficulties, but uh, he is back at least for now, and uh, we're happy to have him. As Ziegler's back on again to punt for the Dragons. Late man runs on for Warren here. And Cole back on the 30. Ziegler again just gets the punt away, and it goes out of bounds. And Oil City will take over first and 10 on their own 45-yard line. And you know, Andy, uh, <laughs> Ziegler's been under some pressure with those punts. Been lucky to get a few of them away so far. Yeah, but he it was the same way, Brian, last week in Franklin. Uh, he, you know, again, as a guy, a kid who's been punting for a couple of years now, he's not phased by that pressure and he's done a good job so far here tonight. So Oil City looks to add to its lead here with 10.57 to go here in the second quarter. They're already up 20 to nothing over Warren. They take over on their own 45. And Stahl gives to Russell, finds some room, and then is taken down by James Swanson after a short gain. Looks about three yards there for Russell. And and Andy, on that last drive, 
we saw what can happen when uh, Russell gets the edge and gets around the corner. Yeah, boy, it doesn't take much. He sees a crease, and he is gone. Uh, really an onus here on the Dragon outside linebackers, uh, Blake Arnold and James Swanson. Uh, Arnold getting in the backfield on that play, uh, and Swanson able to clean up there. So brings up a second and seven here for Oil City on their own 48. Stahl takes a snap, pitches to Russell. Russell looking for room on the edge on the right side. He's got some. Swanson again tracks him down from behind. But Russell is across midfield out to the 45, 44. He's right on the 45, so that is a first down for Oil City. That boy again, Blake Arnold giving pursuit there, but Russell so quick able to get around the edge and pick up the first down. That Swanson's been able to track him down from behind the last couple of plays says, <laughs> says a little bit about his closing speed as well. Yeah, Swanson, of course, one of the Dragons' better athletes. So first and 10 for Oil City here on the uh, Warren 45-yard line. Stall under center. And the pitch is again to Russell. Russell's got some room looking for that right sideline. Gets out of bounds. Looks at about the 38. Maybe the 39-yard line of Warren. And you see Cam, I mean, Cam Russell is really an inside-out runner, but you see he's having some success getting to the edge of that Dragon defense. Uh, and I expect it. If that keeps working, Oil City's going to keep going with it. Yeah, so pickup of six on the play. He did get to the 38-yard uh, line. Yeah, Russell now up to 115 yards on 10 carries. Certainly doing nothing to damage his uh, District 10 leading rushing total here tonight. <laughs> Second and four now for Oil City. Stahl takes the snap. Fakes the pitch. He's under pressure but gets away. Looking to throw. Under more pressure. Gets the ball away. He was looking for uh, Stallman on the sideline there. But a nice play by uh, Cedric Arline to break it up. And again, once again, Blake Arnold there giving Chase uh, Stahl with a, with a tremendously athletic play to escape and almost made something out of uh, what could have been a negative situation there for the Oilers, but instead it's third and very manageable. And, and that's one thing that through the first quarter, you know, look, looking over at your stat sheet, and I see a lot of negative numbers next to some of those Warren plays, but uh, not a whole lot in the negative category for Oil City so far. Uh, no, Oil City, it's business as usual for this Oil City offense. That's for sure. Yeah, third and four now from the Warren 38. And Stahl will give to Russell off the middle, and he gets out to the right side before he is taken down. Looks like Alex Borger on the tackle that time. But he will have enough for an Oil City first down. Yeah, that was... Uh, you know, big number 75, Alan McAllister, was able to get penetration there for the Dragons, but Russell able to sidestep him there and pick up the first down. So just about nine minutes to go here in the first half. Oil City leads 20 to nothing. They have a first down on the Warren 33-yard line. Stahl takes the snap, pitches to Russell off the left side. And he is dragged down. That's Micah Passmore dragging him down. For a short loss on the play, and like we just talked about, Andy, one of the few negative plays that the Oil City has had so far. Yeah, boy, a great play there by Passmar. No, you know, aspirations in playing in college. Most colleges looking at him on the defensive side of the ball, and uh, there, yeah, you're not going to tackle Cam Russell behind the line of scrimmage too many times. So a win there for the Dragon defense. And a second big defensive stop there for uh, Passmar so far brings up a second and a long ten for Oil City. Still operating in Dragon's territory. Stahl now fakes, looking to throw. Borger applies some pressure. He's got Stallman, and there is a penalty flag on the play. And that was uh, Donovan Fiscus getting caught up there with the receiver and uh, drew the penalty. Yeah, boy, a lot of contact there. Uh, Stall with a lot of trust in this receiver puts it up and uh, you know able to draw the pass interference call and that that's if you have one-on-one -on -one coverage you know why not take that shot you know because uh, you know you tr if you trust your receivers they're either going to make a play or draw a flag like they did there. 
So big penalty against the Dragons. We'll move the ball all the way up to the 18-yard line where Oil City will have first down. It's the Dragons' second penalty of the night for 20 yards. Uh, much cleaner so far than Franklin. <laughs> they had, Brian, if you can believe there's 20 penalties in that win over Franklin. It's not, it's not often you get 20 penalties in a game and come away with a win. <laughs> no, that is for sure. Yeah, so first down now for Oil City. And Stahl gives the stack up the middle. Gets a few, is stopped up by Schaefer, and then cleaned up by a host of Dragons. Looks like he picked up about two on the play. Yeah, but I know Russell Russell gets a lot of the accolades in the headlines, and deservedly so. But uh, you can see some of the ability there to stall with a nice cut uh, to get away from a Dragon defender and get positive yardage. That brings up a second and eight from the Warren 16. And Stahl gives a stack again up the middle. And this time he's <laughs> met in the line by Cody Vega. And Vega and Stack just went one-on-one -on -one to see who would win on that one. And uh, Stack got the better of him. Goes forward for about three yards on the play. You know, Cody Vega's a kid, right? I want to touch a little more on. I, I thought I re he really started to come on as a sophomore. And then, you know, I saw him, you know, in practice. He really seemed to spend... Uh, a lot of time in the weight room. He looked bigger and stronger and ready. To, uh, you can see he's having a big impact for the Dragons here this season. Okay, so third and four now for Oil City from the Warren 12. Seven minutes to go here in the uh, second quarter. Give is up the middle, and uh, this time only maybe a yard there for Stack. And you'd have to imagine uh, Oil City would go for this fourth and short deep in Dragon territory as they look to extend their 20 to nothing lead. And so it is fourth and two. And you know, Andy, watching that game last week against Franklin, this is kind of where Warren turned things around. If Franklin was driving deep and uh, Warren got a big fourth down stop. And boy, Brian, they could they need one here very badly. Stack the deep man, but Stahl fakes the pitch to the up man, pitches it out to Stack. Stack hit, gets away, hit again, wrapped up. We'll see where they mark it. Forward progress looks like he's got enough for the first down. There's a flag late. Oh, and judging by the reaction from the Warren sideline, that's going against Oil City, but we'll wait and see. Yeah, so let's see how this all shakes out here. It looks Hard to tell from our vantage point exactly what happened there over on the far side. I mean, it certainly looked like Stack had gotten enough to pick up the first down. Yeah, boy, very, very elusive play from Stack as he's being chased by a host of Dragon defenders, but we'll wait and see on the flag here. Okay, so it is a dead ball personal foul. We'll back up Oil City. And the ball will be placed at the 20. But I think, Andy, again, I think he had enough for the first down. So this should be a first down for Oil City. He, he did, and it's, it's going to be a first down. Oilers just backed up a little bit as well. Couldn't see exactly what happened there over on the sideline, but nevertheless... Uh, First penalty of the game on the Oilers. It looked like maybe a little, just a little uh, extracurricular activity. On the, <laughs> you'll on you'll the have that from time to time over the course of a game, for sure. <laughs> and, and especially, you know, you and I both know we've uh, spent our fair share of time on this turf here at War Memorial Field. Those things do happen sometimes in some of these region contests. <laughs> that they do. This is uh, no love lost between these uh, between these two teams. That is for sure. Okay, so Oil City does have the first down now. It will be first and 10 from the 20. And the give is to stack again up the middle. And he's met by a host of dragons and driven backwards. It looks like he forward progress got him about two on the play. Yeah, but we're seeing a heavy dose of stack here for the Oilers as Russell now comes back into the game. 
Oh, well, so he really has been testing the uh, the center of that Dragon defensive line on this series. Yeah, but, and that, again, we pointed that out before the game. That was going to be key for the Dragons to be able to stay in this is, uh, you know, dealing with that powerful Oil City offensive line. And uh, the last couple plays here, they have been up to the challenge. So we've got another uh, conference here from the officials. I'm not sure what they're trying to sort out. I didn't see it, any flags out on the field. So I'm not sure what this one is all about. Yeah, I think both teams, Brian, unsure as well as they're kind of waiting on word from the officials here. Well, I see some nodding here, so there must be an agreement about something. And here we go, second and eight for right, Oilers so City. All that for nothing, yeah. and uh, the Oilers come up to the line of scrimmage. I guess as long as they know what's going on, that's the, the most important thing here. So second and eight for Oil City. The pitch is to Russell, looking for room along the left side. Breaks away. He's down the sideline, and he scores. Kind of <laughs> Russell kind of slowed himself up there. I thought maybe he thought he had stepped out or something, but no, he does get in for the Oil City touchdown. 5:04 to go here in the first half. Oil City leads Warren 26 to zero. And again, you talk about the elusiveness of Cam Russell. Uh, you know, looked like several Dragons were in there to potentially make a play, but he's uh, he's able to step away, and then you see the speed getting down the sideline for the touchdown. And that drive to the end zone was brought to you by Warren Tire Center. Don't forget, it is always a great day at Warren Tire Center. So Oil City comes out looking to go for two here. Stahl looking to pass. Firing for the corner. He's got a man. Caught. Two-point conversion for Dakota Cole. That's a very nice sliding catch for Cole. Yeah, boy, I'm really impressed with Stahl. He doesn't throw the ball a lot, but that was a very well-designed play and uh, a nice catch on the other end uh, to get it to 28 to nothing here. And it really led Cole perfectly on that pass, too. Was, he was the only man on the field who could get to it. So Oil City converts. They now lead 28 to nothing here. 5:04 to go in the Warren Tire Center second quarter. You're listening to High School Football on D9and10Sports.com. For all your automotive needs, look no further than the Warren Tire Center. From new tires to tire repairs, PA state inspections, wheel alignments, and auto detailing, there's so much more that we can do for you. And there's no reason to go anywhere but the Warren Tire Center in Warren, Pennsylvania. With over 40 years of serving the Warren and surrounding communities, it's always been a great day at the Warren Tire Center. We offer same-day service and walk-ins are welcome. Open Monday through Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. The Warren Tire Center can be reached at 814-723-8050 and on the web at warrentirecenter.com. And welcome back in here to War Memorial Field. 5.04 to go here in the uh, Warren Tire Center second quarter, and Oil City leads Warren 28-0. to zero. Russell getting set to kick, and he squibs it. It will be fielded at the 30. And that looked like uh, number 80, Garrett Waters, picked that one up. And got it out to the 41-yard uh, line, and that's where Warren will take over. So five minutes to go here uh, in the first half, Andy, and uh, Warren's really got to find something going for them offensively if they're going to try to claw their way back into this ballgame. Yep, need need uh, points here, you would think, Brian. Pass more. Oh, trying to get to Swanson, and Swanson takes a big hit from Sean Stack on the play. Uh, 
Heavy hit from Stack on Swanson there. But incomplete pass brings up second and 10 for Warren from the 41. Passmore takes a snap, looking to throw. He's under pressure, steps up. And then dumps it off to Borger, who's hit immediately by Kiefer on the sideline. Looked like Passmore was going to tuck it and run there. And then saw Borger standing on the sideline. Gets about three on the play. Brings up a third and seven for the Dragons. And again, we understand some of you are experiencing some te technical difficulties. Uh, again, Andy's working on that, trying to get that resolved for you. We appreciate you sticking with us here on D910sports.com. Four minutes to go here in the second quarter at War Memorial Field. And Warren has called a timeout, 407 to go second quarter. We're going to take a timeout with him. You're listening to High School Sports on D910.com. Icy Ink Screen Printing and Embroidery, located at 2043 Pennsylvania Avenue, East in Warren. We offer screen printing and embroidery on apparel as well as graphic design, web design, photography, and custom frames, and specialize in youth fundraising. Check out our Icebox stores online at icyink.com or give us a call at 814-688-0034. Let's meet, drink coffee, and design some cool shirts. Be cool, wear Icy. Hi, Chris Rossetti here from D9and10sports.com. I wanted to take a second to tell you about one of the best restaurants in all of Western Pennsylvania, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, PA. With indoor and outdoor dining, you can enjoy prime rib all weekend long, or perhaps it is their full wings served on Thursday wing nights that you're after. From celebrating a special occasion to hanging out with family and friends, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg is the place to be. As they like to say, you come for the food and you stay for the view. Reserve your table today at AlleghenyGrill.com. So Dragons come out of the timeout facing a third and eight from their own 43, trailing Oil City 28 to nothing. Passmore looking to throw, under pressure immediately, gets the ball away. He's got a man down the middle, just overthrew Donovan Fiscus, who had gotten some space. And the play was there. Passmore just airmailed it a little bit, brings up a fourth and eight for the Draglins, and Ziegler's uh, back on to punt. But really, that was that was the play, Andy, that uh, that Warren needed to connect on to get themselves back in this game. Yeah, boy, just missed. That would have been a big one for the Dragons for sure. But instead, the Dragons will punt now. Ziegler has a snap, gets the kick away. It does take a Dragons bounce down inside the 30 and will come to rest. Right at the 25-yard line. That's where Oil City will take over. 3.52 to go here in the Warren Tire Center second quarter. So, Andy, we talked about it late in the first half. Dragons needed to get some points on the board. They had a golden opportunity there and just missed on the play. Yep, they sure did. Um, and now you have a chance for Oil City to potentially go down and score again. Um, and that could potentially bring the mercy rule into effect in the second half, something Warren obviously does not want. First and 10 on the 25, pitches to Russell. He's hit and wrapped up, holding on for dear life there was uh, – Number 25, Cody Vega again. Yeah, boy, really impressed again. I know I said it already, but Cody Vega looking good from that linebacker spot. Holds Russell in no gain there, so brings up a second and 10 for Oil City. Three and a half to go here in the second quarter. Oil City with a 28-0 lead over the Dragons. Stahl fakes the handoff, throws down the middle. He's got Crawford. Crawford comes up with the catch. Good coverage there by Swanson, but Crocker comes down with it and moves the Oilers into Warren territory. First down from the Dragons, 48. Yep, 
You know, and that's really been the difference so far, Andy, is Warren misses on the big play. Oil City does not. Yeah, boy, just perfect execution on both ends of that. Blake Arnold bearing down. With against Stoll, able to deliver a perfect throw. Crocker, a great catch. Oilers back in business. Stahl pitches to Russell. Looking to get to the edge on the left side. He's got it. Down the sideline. And there he goes again. Cam Russell with the Oil City touchdown. 2.39 to go here in the first half. And Oil City extends the lead 34 to nothing over Warren. Yep. And, uh, you know, this, this was worst case scenario for the Dragons. Um, they hung cuff early in the game. But Russell... Uh, making some big plays with his legs as he does this Oiler offensive line uh, asserting itself. And obviously if you're Warren, you know, it, it sounds simple, but you want to go down, get something positive, get a score before the half um, because this Oiler offense is certainly rolling right now. Yeah, and Oil City is going to come out look for the two-point conversion. And as you said, Andy, if they, can, uh, if they can get it here and stop the Dragons from scoring again before the half, uh, would put the running clock rule into effect here in the second half. We'll see if Oil City can convert. Stall looking to pass. Corner of the end zone just out of the reach of Cole. Could not come down with it. So Oil City fails to convert, and that could be a blessing there for the Dragons if they can come back and score here. And again, if you're Warren... Um you know, they're probably going to have to go to the air here if they want to put points on the board before the half. Uh, Passmore has had some success tonight, been able to complete a couple passes to Borger, so we'll see if they can get something going here. Uh, again, 2.39 to go in the half. Um, Oil City certainly uh, as advertised here late in the second quarter. Yeah, and then you were at uh, Conneaut in week one when uh, Warren gave up uh, 200 yards on the ground. Uh, to Conniet and uh, Cam Russell's got to be well on his way to that here just in the first half. Yep, 100, 188 yards now for Cam Russell on 15 carries. Uh, again, not, not much more you can say about him. He's just a uh, you know, terrific back, a terrific athlete, and a terrific kid as well, too. Okay, so Oil City getting set to kick here. 2.39 to go here in the first half. Oilers lead Warren 34 to nothing. Uh, Russell sets the ball on the tee. And the kick is away. And it gets by some dragons. Ben White picks it up at the 22 and then stumbles, falls down. Dragons lucky to come up with that one. And uh, we've got some... Uh, some laundry on the field here. There's a little bit of uh, extra stuff going on again after the play there. So we'll see where this one goes. And it's a personal foul against Oil City and a personal foul against the Dragons. Those penalties will offset. So Warren takes over. Well, ben White, I think um, you saw it last week against Franklin. He had a kick return for touchdown call back. Tremendous speed, I think. Probably just got a little bit ahead of himself there. Uh, you know, saw a crease, but uh, slipped down on that turf here at War Memorial Field. So Warren takes over. 2:35 to go here in the first half. They're trailing Oil City 34 to nothing. Warren has the ball first and ten on its own 23-yard line. Passmore with Borger to his right. Two receivers to each side. And a whole lot of movement. And it will be a false start against the Dragons. So the fourth penalty on the Dragons tonight moves them back five where they'll have a first and 15. And that's not a position you want to be in against this Oil City defense. No, and again, you know, you talked about it. They got away with it last week. They had 20 penalties in the game. Uh, only four this week, but against a team like Oil City, you're just not going to get away uh, with that kind of mental mistake. So Passmore takes a snap, fires over the middle, 
looking for Fiscus right through his hands. Fiscus had some space there, but couldn't hang on to it, so we'll bring up a second and 15 for Warren. Yeah, boy, a, a good delivery there by Passmore. Uh, Fiscus able to get his hands on it, but unable to haul it in. And again, though, those are the kind of plays the Dragons are going to have to convert. Yeah, so second and 15 now. And Passmore looking to throw. Rolls. Has a man on the sideline. It is incomplete. That was Cedric Arlene there, Brian. Yeah, and he uh, could not come down with it inbounds, so brings up a third and 15 for Warren. And when you're backed up, call Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning to get you moving again. Two twenty six to go, third and 15 for Warren, and then, uh, unless they can convert on a big play here, Oil City's probably going to get the ball back with a golden opportunity to score again before the half. Passmore, evades the pressure, rolling right, looking, fires deep. He's got Fiscus broken up by Stallman. What a great play there to close defensively. Fiscus had some space. Yeah, boy, great play by Stallman. Passmore flushed out of the pocket there. We've seen him make some of his best throws there when he's on the run. And uh, Fiscus was open, but again, a great play there to knock it away. And Brian, you're right. Uh, Oil City's going to get the ball back here, and you would think they would look to score again uh, before halftime with over two minutes to go. So fourth and 15, Ziggler's on to punt. And some of these snaps on the punts, Andy, have gone a little bit high. This is that dangerous territory where if one of those gets away from you, it could cause big problems. Snap is good. Kick is away. And... Bounces to Cole, who evades a man. Still looking for space. Gets to the sideline. Still on his feet. Reverses field. He's got a whole lot of green in front of him. Going down the right sideline. Cole, there's a flag down. Multiple flags down. Well, Cole's in the end zone. Yeah, but I'll tell you what. That looks like it's going to go into Oil City. But nevertheless, that's not going to take away. That was an electrifying uh, return by Dakota Cole there. <laughs> Yeah, Warren's going to get saved by the uh, penalties, it looks like. But, uh, Andy, you and I both know Coach Mark Morelli is not going to be happy uh, with that special team's performance on the punt there. No, uh, you know, Mark Morelli, uh, the Dragons take great pride in their special teams, have always had good kickers, punters uh, over the years. But, uh, yeah, the kick coverage there uh, certainly, you know, and it's easy to say the Dragons should have had him wrapped up there at the 40. That was... I'm not so sure how much of that was bad coverage as more as it was just a great individual play on the part of Cole. Well, yeah, it seemed like Cole was about to go down, and when he slipped away because all the uh, Dragon defenders had kind of converged on him on the near sideline here, he was able to reverse field and get to the far side and get away from everybody. So nevertheless, the, dra or, excuse me, the Oilers will have great field position inside the Dragon 25. Looks like at about the 22. And just under two minutes to go here in the first half. Oil City already leading 34 to nothing. Has a great chance to add to their lead before the half. Uh, it looks like uh, Stack will be the deep man in the backfield for Oil City this series. The pitch is to Stack. And he's got room down the right side. Stack is gone. One play, 22 yards, Oil City touchdown. And again, we see the Oilers have success uh, bouncing the ball to the outside. We've seen it with Cam Russell uh, a number of times here in this first half. This time it was Stack who was able to get the corner and get to the end zone. So 149 to go here in the first half. Oil City has extended the lead to 40 to nothing now. And Oil City has called a timeout. We are going to take one with them. You're listening to High School Football on D9and10sports.com. Looking to outfit your team with a quick turnaround time? Then give BGM Custom Wears by Brookfield Glove a try. At BGM Custom Wear by Brookfield Glove, we believe businesses, individuals, and teams should be able to represent themselves at a reasonable price. We have access to thousands of different products like hats, polos, t-shirts, hoodies, bags, and more from your favorite brand. 
We also do screen printing, embroidery, and engraving. BGM Custom Wear by Brookfield Glove can be reached at 814-849-7324 or check us out online at brookfieldglove.com and like us on Facebook. You're listening to High School Sports on the D9and10sports.com radio network. So we're back out of this timeout here, and uh, Oil City's on to attempt a two-point conversion following the Sean Stack 22-yard touchdown to put the Oilers ahead 40 to nothing. Excuse me, it won't be a conversion. They're going to kick their first kick attempt of the game, Andy. Snap is good. Hold is good. Kick is up, and no good. Dakota Cole just missed on that one. So it remains 40 to nothing here. And of course, kicking game is such an important part, um, not just in high school football, but at every level of football. And, uh, you know, if you're Oil City, sure, you've had success going for two, but uh, I think part of the thought process there kicking is uh, you want to work on that kicking game um, because when you have aspirations as high as they do, that kicking game is certainly going to come into play later on down the road. Uh, absolutely. You get into some of these uh, tight playoff contests and uh, the game may come down to uh, an extra point or a, a field goal attempt. And, you know, you certainly want to have some of those under your belt before you trot somebody out there to, to try that in a high pressure situation. And with just under two minutes to go here in the first half, Oil City with a 40 to nothing lead over Warren. Oilers getting set to kick here. Dragons had a little trouble with the uh, squib kick on the last kickoff. We'll see if Russell elects to kick it deep or uh, squib it again for the Oilers. And he does kick it deep. The kick is away, and Ben White lets it bounce into the end zone for the touchback. Probably a wise decision by White on that play to just let it roll into the end zone instead of trying to pick it up and field it. Smart man indeed, Ben White. And again, uh, not to emphasize on this enough, if you're warned, you want to get you know, something positive going here before the half. Um, and they will look to do that here. Um, you know, obviously a long field, but if you could drive down the field and score, great. If not, just putting together some positive plays would, uh, you know, they would certainly take that at this point as well. So the Dragons came out throwing on their last possession, Andy. You wonder if maybe they're not going to try to run the ball a little bit here and uh, run some of this game clock down to get into the locker room. Nope. Passmore's going to pass to Swanson. It's over his head. And it falls incomplete. Uh, you know, I'm not sure if it's by design here or what. Uh, James Swanson's touch is kind of limited here in the first half. Oil City's, uh, Oil City's done a good job bottling him up, but also, um, you know, I haven't called his name a lot tonight, which is surprising. Uh, Passmore's targeted him a, a few times in the passing game, but uh, hasn't really put one on the numbers for him yet. Some of those passes have been a little off tonight. Micah back in the gun here for the Dragons. Brings up a second and 10 now from the 20. Borger to Passmore's right. Two receivers each side. Passmore tucks it in a run. Looks like a designed quarterback run on that play. And Passmore gets out to the 23, maybe the 24-yard line. And again, Brian, that's where Micah Passmore is uh, most comfortable. Is he capable of throwing the ball? Yes, of course. We've seen it uh a lot throughout the course of his career, but really a big physical kid likes to get in there and run the ball. Uh, you know, a very good athlete. He can, he's, uh, you know, we've seen him make a number of electrifying runs over the course of his career. So third and six now for the Dragons. Just about a minute to go here in the first half. Warren's looking to the sideline for the play. They have it. Pass Warren in the gun. Borger to his right. The give is to Borger up the middle, trying to push the pile forward. Gets maybe a yard on the play, but not much there for Borger off the left side. Oh, 
And you know, Andy, after that uh, incompletion on first down, the Dragons come out two designed runs. Uh, I think now maybe they might be a little content to, to kill this clock and get and, into halftime. Uh, yep, they looks like they will not have to run another play. Uh, 23 seconds and counting on the game clock, 25 on the play clock. So it looks like both teams are going to head into halftime here. And that is it. Warren is leaving the field. And that will take us to halftime here at War Memorial Field where Oil City has a 40 nothing to a 40 to nothing lead over the host Dragons. And you've been listening to the Warren Tire Center second quarter. We'll be right back after this with the Oil City Education Association halftime show. You are li listening to high school football on D9 and 10 sportscom Icy Ink Screen Printing and Embroidery, located at 2043 Pennsylvania Avenue, East in Warren. We offer screen printing and embroidery on apparel, as well as graphic design, web design, photography, and custom frames, and specialize in youth fundraisers. We also offer photography, photography services and custom frames. Check out our Icebox stores online at icyink.com, or give us a call at 814-688-0034. Let's meet, drink coffee, and design some cool shirts. Be cool, wear Icy. Are you an employer frustrated and confused by the new health care laws? Is your business growing to almost 50 employees or more? Are you a small employer looking to recruit new employees or keep your current employees satisfied? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then Charles Leach is here for you. Hi, I'm Lisa Leach Goth from Charles Leach in New Bethlehem. We offer group health plans for any type of business, regardless of the amount of employees. Looking for medical, dental, vision, disability, life? You won't find cookie cutter plans here. We can help you create unique, affordable plans that work well for both you and your employees. Don't keep putting off your company's health care. The time to start planning is now. Call 888 CP Leach or stop by our office on Broad Street in New Bethlehem to set up your group health plans today. That's that's 888-CP-LEACH. Visit us online at leachagency.com or like us on Facebook. Charles Leach, protecting you like family. We are back here at War Memorial Field. They are doing senior recognition ceremonies now for the Warren Dragon Marching Band. We're going to listen in. Over and over again, for all of the sectors. The teachers told that we go to college to learn a bachelor's degree in higher medical engineering, find work in a new case lab in the Pacific Northwest. We did not have a Calvin Buck, we did sign with Shadow Martin and Eric Buck. We have spent a number of marching games for three years. The other two activities include concert dance,
And welcome back into the Oil City Education Association Halftime Show. The Oil City Education Association, the power of a great education. Hashtag Oilers Together. The Oil City Education Association proudly sponsors Oils, Oilers Football. And uh, Andy, looks like you've got the uh, out-of-town scoreboard. What scores do we have going on? I do indeed, Brian. Just a reminder, a couple of games, unfortunately, postponed tonight. Uh, McDowell and Erie. Uh, you know, McDowell, McDowell had a COVID, I don't want to call it an outbreak. They had seven kids test positive for that game. All their athletic events are actually postponed, I believe, through October 12th. And uh, over in District 9, the... Cameron County at Auto Elder game was also postponed here uh, just about 5 o'clock this evening. No other details on that yet, but Cameron County at Auto Elder was postponed as well. Uh, starting in district, well, we'll start with our other broadcasts tonight on D9and10sports.com. Chris Rossetti and Al Modrzejewski up in Smithport where the Hubbers are rolling against uh, Port Allegheny, leading 35 to nothing at the half. In District 10, we have Wilmington all over Greenville, 41 nothing at the half. Again, these scores are all at the half. Farrell, 43, Sharpsville, 7. Hickory, 21, Grove City, nothing. Sharon, 17, Slippery Rock, 7. Lakeview, 15, Sagertown, 6. Northwestern, 7, Cambridge Springs, nothing. Eisenhower, 21, Union City, nothing at the half as the Knights look to go to 4 and 0. Oh. Harbor Creek, 27, Corey, 19. So the Beavers hanging tough there with an unbeaten Harbor Creek squad. Uh, Fort LaBeouf, 48, Fairview, nothing. Connie at 28, Titusville, nothing. Meadville, 40, Franklin, nothing. Cathedral Prep, 49, Butler, 6. And Reynolds, 22, West Middlesex, 7. And that is over in District 10. In District 9, Brockway, 14, Kawaneski Valley, 6. Brookville, 27, Monotaw, 6. Carn City, 42, Punxsutawney, nothing. Central Clarion County, 6, Dubois, nothing. Keystone, 13, Kerwinsville, 10. St. Mary's, 14, Ridgeway, 7. Kane, 44, Bradford, nothing. And Cowdersport, 24, El County Catholic, 14. Uh, a couple more from the Mountain League. Clearfield, another school that had a COVID-related uh, postponement last week. Back in action there, all over Phillipsburg, Osceola, 35 to nothing at the half. And that is your 
scoreboard again a live scoreboard on d9and10sports.com tonight be sure and check that out as well So the uh, out-of-town scoreboard brought to you by Swift Kennedy and Company Insurance. Swift Kennedy and Company, insurance with integrity since 1921 and is the official insurance provider of D9and10sports.com. Swift Kennedy and Company in Dubois is an independent property and casualty insurance agency and the official insurance agency of D9 and 10 Founded in 1921 by Patrick J. Swift and Albert D. Kennedy, our success has been built on service and attention to our clients' needs. Our philosophy is service and our hallmark is integrity. Visit Swift Kennedy and Company on the web at swiftkennedyandco.com or call them today at 814-371-5270. Swift Kennedy and Company, insurance with integrity since 1921. Located at 229 Liberty Street in downtown Warren, Freedom Investment Management Group has a passion for helping people manage and preserve their wealth. Partners Rob Maring and Dave Close, along with all the professionals at Freedom Investment Management Group, are committed to providing the highest level of service to our clients. Every member of our team is experienced, educated, and passionate. We intentionally maintain a low client-to-team member ratio so that we can consistently deliver concierge-like service. Simply put, we are not like many other wealth management firms. Come experience the difference. Visit us online at Freedom Wealth Co. Yeah, welcome back into the Oil City Education Association Halftime Show, and Andy's got some halftime stats for us. Uh, first for the home team, the Warren Dragons, James Swanson, two carries for 10 yards. Micah Passmore, eight carries for negative eight yards, but I want to emphasize those are mostly sacks that account for Passmore's negative yardage. Uh, Alex Borger, three carries for seven yards and a team rush for negative five yards for the Dragons. Passmore, four of 12 through the air for 27 yards. Three of those completions have gone to Borger for 20 yards and Gage Schaefer a reception for five yards. Over on the Oil City side, uh, Cam Russell, uh, again, putting together another brilliant performance tonight. District 10's leading rusher coming into action tonight has 188 yards on 15 carries and four touchdowns. Stahl with two car- three carries for four yards. Stack with five carries for 28 yards and a touchdown. Crocker, two receptions, or excuse me, Stahl, three of four through the air for 76 yards. Crocker, two catches for, I'm sorry, Stahl with 103 yards actually passing. Crocker with two for 76 and a score. And to Cola Cola catch for 37 yards for Oil City as they lead 41 to nothing at the half here over the Warren Dragons. And your halftime stats tonight brought to you by Borger and Horsley, attorneys and counselors at law in Warren. Founded in 1998, Borger and Horsley, attorneys and counselors at law is located at 301 Market Street in Warren, in one of Warren's stately Victorian homes. Our firm takes great pride in providing legal service in a personal and caring manner. Contact us today at 814-723-5030. Presenting KeyBank Smart Checking. Enjoy the freedom of free with an account that fits your lifestyle. The smart choice for a checking account is simple. It's the one that matches your needs and the way you want to live. That means an account with no monthly fees, so your money is your money. It means easy access to your money and digital tools that allow you to bank anytime, anywhere. And it means special tools that help you make even more financial progress, sometimes without even trying. Visit branch manager Tina Dell at 315 2nd Avenue, Warren, PA, or give her a call at 814-723-5355. Looking for a new or used car or truck? Then look no further than Nolf Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram in Fairmont City. Nolf's selection of Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram truck brands coupled with an assortment of used vehicles provide customers a wide variety of buying options. They have the vehicle you need at the price you can afford. Nolf's service and parts team of highly qualified technicians is focused on providing exceptional service in a timely manner and its body shop can't be beat. Visit Nolf's online at nolfdodge.com like them on Facebook, or stop by and see what they have to offer. 
Icy Ink Screen Printing and Embroidery, located at 2043 Pennsylvania Avenue, East in Warren. We offer screen printing and embroidery on apparel as well as graphic design, web design, photography, and custom frames, and specialize in youth fundraisers. We also offer photography, photography services and custom frames. Check out our Icebox stores online at icyink.com or give us a call at 814-688-0034. Let's meet, drink coffee, and design some cool shirts. Be cool, wear Icy. Hi, this is Chris Rossetti from d 9 sportscom If you're like me, you may have experienced some aches and pains like a sore back, a stiff neck, or a wonky knee. Well, I've got the place for you. The Rehab Center with six convenient locations, including in Brookville, Clarion, and Catanning, is the place to go. The friendly staff and knowledgeable doctors will get you back in the game quicker than quick. I know, I've been going to them since 2009. So the next time your back, neck, knee, shoulder, or anything else acts up, call them for an appointment at 724-478-1501. You're listening to High School Sports on the D9and10sports.com network. And welcome back into the Oil City Education Association Halftime Show. And right now we are going to bring you Andy's Keys to the Second Half, brought to you by Park Avenue Motor Car. Uh, you know, if you're Oil City, you know, keep doing what you're doing. Um, you know, if the score uh, kind of holds the way it is, they're going to get some opportunity to get some other kids into the game, um, So, which is certainly a positive. Uh, if you're Warren, again, you, it's not like you, you didn't have any success in the first half. You know, Passmore is able to complete a few passes. Uh, you got a few runs going there in the running game. Uh, and, and, again, I, I think the key for that, if they can come – in the third quarter and get on the scoreboard that would be a big big boost for them you know i think if you're oil city you know, there's that motivation there um yeah i know they gave up a late score to franklin to uh you know nix the shutout there uh this is a competitive football team they're not gonna they're just not gonna give the dragons uh anything easy so uh so yeah obviously you know a tough situation when you're you're worn. You're in your home opener. You're down big at the half. But but again, it's just looking to looking for things to build on here in the second half. If you're the Dragons, okay. Those have been Andy's keys to the second half. Brought to you by Park Avenue Motor Car. Have a fender bender? We can mender at Park Avenue Motor Car. Proudly serving Warren County for 30 years. And you've been listening to the Oil City Education Association Halftime Show. We're going to take a quick break and be right back with you for the second half here between Warren and Oil City. Need plumbing, heating, or air conditioning services in Western PA? Then call Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning in Clarion today at 814-226-8695. At Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning, we believe that a service-oriented business like ours should give you quality care and a quick response time. That's why we stand on our promise, offering you reliable 24-hour service that gets your job done right when you need it. We can also be found on the web at lutonsplumbing.com. Again, that number is 814-226-8695. Are you an employer frustrated and confused by the new health care laws? Is your business growing to almost 50 employees or more? Are you a small employer looking to recruit new employees or keep your current employees satisfied? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then Charles Leach is here for you. Hi, I'm Lisa Leach-Goth from Charles Leach in New Bethlehem. We offer group health plans for any type of business, regardless of the amount of employees. Looking for medical, dental, vision, disability, life? You won't find cookie-cutter plans here. We can help you create unique, affordable plans that work well for both you and your employees. Don't keep putting off your company's health care. The time to start planning is now. Call 888-CP-LEACH or stop by our office on Broad Street in New Bethlehem to set up your group health plans to Leach, protecting you like family. With a quick turnaround time, then give BGM Custom Wares by Brookfield Glove a try. At BGM Custom Wear by Brookfield Glove, we believe businesses, individuals, and teams should be able to represent themselves at a reasonable price. We have access to thousands of different products like hats, polos, t-shirts, hoodies, bags, and more from your favorite brand. We also do screen printing, embroidery, and engraving. BGM Custom Wear by Brookfield Glove can be reached at 814-849-7324 or check us out online at brookfieldglove.com and like us on Facebook. For all your automotive needs, look no further than the Warren Tire Center. From new tires to tire repairs, PA state inspections, wheel alignments, and auto detailing, there's so much more that we can do for you, and there's no reason to go anywhere but the Warren Tire Center in Warren, Pennsylvania. 
With over 40 years of serving the Warren and surrounding communities, it's always been a great day at the Warren Tire Center. We offer same-day service and walk-ins are welcome. Open Monday through Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. The Warren Tire Center can be reached at 814-723-8050 and on the web at warrentirecenter.com. Founded in 1998, Borger and Horsley Attorneys and Counselors at Law is located at 301 Market Street in Warren in one of Warren's stately Victorian homes. Our firm takes great pride in providing legal service in a personal and caring manner. Contact us today at 814-723-5030. You're listening to High School Sports on the D9and10sports.com radio network. Welcome back into high school football action here on D9to10sports.com. Brian Hagberg here alongside Andy Close at War Memorial Field in Warren, where the home team Warren Dragons find themselves trailing the visiting Oil City Oilers 40 to nothing here as we are getting set to start the second half, and Oil City will receive the second half kickoff. Dragons coming out to kick off for the first time this evening. Alex Ziegler will be kicking off for the Dragons. And Ziegler kicks it short. It's fielded at the 35. That was uh, number 28, Zach Kiefer, who fielded that the ball and got it out across the 40. So Oil City will start. First and 10 at their own 43. So, yep, and it looks like, uh, obviously, as you'd expect, the first-team Oil City offense looks like out there uh, to begin the second half. Uh, you know, want to get them in an ideal situation for the Oilers. You get them some work here in the second half and then, uh, then get them off the field. But uh, we'll see what happens. And as we start the second half, uh, we've got to start it with an Oil City timeout here. <laughs> So Oil City broke the huddle, and uh, timeout was called from the sideline. Yeah, I'm not sure if uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. looks like there's 11 guys that were in the huddle, so maybe just a little lack of communi communication. Maybe they didn't like what they saw. Nevertheless, uh, a timeout here before we run a play from scrimmage in the second half. Yeah, so you mentioned the uh, the first team offense out there for Oil City, Andy. As we come into the second half, uh, District Ten was leading rusher Cam Russell, twelve yards away from a two hundred yard game here. Yeah, yet another one for Cam, and uh, yeah, I certainly want to give a uh, make mention of this Oil City offensive line. Uh, they are they are imposing. They are strong. They are, and again, it's not that the Warren defensive line is playing bad. This is just. A very impressive unit, one of one of the best offensive lines in District 10, and they've shown it so far tonight. Okay, so Oil City has everything straightened out now. They are going to come out first and 10 from their own 43, stall under center. And the give is to Stack on the end of round, and he shakes away from Swanson and makes another man miss before he is finally brought down in Warren territory. Well, I'll tell you what, that was a... Stack showing his athletic ability. James Swanson's a very good athlete, and he was able to make a miss. Yeah, Swanson doesn't miss tackles very often. We've got an injured dragon here uh, on the field. Looks like uh, Alex Zertney is down for Warren. Dragon senior, one of the anchors for this team on both sides of the line. And as they tend to him, we're going to step away for just a second. You're listening to High School Football on D9and10sports.com. Hi, this is Chris Rossetti from D9and10sports.com. If you're like me, you may have experienced some aches and pains like a sore back, a stiff neck, or a wonky knee. Well, I've got the place for you. The Rehab Center with six convenient locations, including in Brookville, Clarion, and Catanning, is the place to go. The friendly staff and knowledgeable doctors will get you back in the game quicker than quick. I know, I've been going to them since 2009. 
So the next time your back, neck, knee, shoulder, or anything else acts up, call them for an appointment at 724-478-1501. You're listening to High School Sports on the D9and10sports.com radio network. And we're back here at uh, War Memorial Field. Uh, Zertney was able to get up and uh, walk off under his own power, so it brings up a first and ten for Oil City. The pitch is to Russell off the left side. Gets by one tackle. He's got a whole lot of green in front of him. Cam Russell down the sideline. Can't quite get away from James Swanson, but he does get down inside the 15 to the 13-yard line, and uh, that will put him over 200 for the game, Andy. Uh, it does, and again, another... Uh... Another great play there by Russell. Micah Parsons, or Micah Parsons, <laughs> not the former Penn State linebacker. Micah Passmore looked like he had him wrapped up there. Russell somehow able to escape and uh, pick up big yardage. And like Brian said, that puts him over 200 yards at the, on the night, 213 to be exact. Uh, trying to tackle Russell tonight. The Dragons probably wish they had Micah Parsons in, the, <laughs> in a linebacker for him. But it is first and 10 for Oil City from the 13. Stahl looking to pass, has Cole. Cole gets a block, gets away from a man. Swanson gets up on his back and drags him down inside the five to the two-yard line. Thought for a second Cole might get in, uh, but James Swanson came flying over to make the stop. (laughs) James Swanson doing everything he can here for the Dragons, uh, saving a touchdown on that one. And again, it's not as if we talk so much about this Oil City rushing attack, but they're when they do go to there, they are very efficient and effective. And Dakota Cole is a heck of a receiver. And, and Stahl's been absolutely on target with his throw. I mean, he's had one overthrow, I think, so far. But most of his other throws have been on target tonight. First and goal now for the Oilers. And the give is up the middle. That is number 44, Braden Crocker getting into the end zone for the Oiler touchdown. Braden Crocker, an impressive football player in his own right, one of the leaders of the, on the defense, getting a touch there on offense and making his way into the end zone. So 9.55 to go here in the third quarter. Oil City leads 46 to nothing now over Warren. Uh, and it looks like uh, Dakota Cole is going to come out and maybe uh, – try for another point after here yeah plenty of length on the first one for Cole just sailed wide to the left we'll see if he's able to knock this one through so Cole back to kick stall to hold snap is good hold is down kick is blocked by Blake Arnold it came flying in off the edge and got in front of that one and again, uh, you're looking for something to cheer about for the Dragons. That's it right there. Blake Arnold, senior, one of the emotional leaders of this football team. Uh, and there's certainly no quitting that uh, young man. He made a great play there off the edge to block the extra point attempt. Okay, so 9.55 to go here in the third quarter. Oil City leads Warren 46 to nothing. You're listening to High School Football on D9 and 10 Sports. Dot com. Presenting KeyBank Smart Checking. Enjoy the freedom of free with an account that fits your lifestyle. The smart choice for a checking account is simple. It's the one that matches your needs and the way you want to live. That means an account with no monthly fees, so your money is your money. It means easy access to your money and digital tools that allow you to bank anytime, anywhere. And it means special tools that help you make even more financial progress, sometimes without even trying. Visit branch manager Tina Dell at 315 2nd Avenue, Warren, PA, or give her a call at 814-723-5355. Brian Hagberg and Andy Close back here with you at War Memorial Field as Oil City getting set to kick off after the Braden Crocker touchdown. They lead Warren 46 to nothing here, 9.55 to go, third quarter. And the kick is away, and Ben White will field it at the 15. Gets ahead of steam, looking for space. Gets out to the 30, and then is driven back. Nice little return there from Ben White, though. Yeah, Ben, of course, the Dragons have had great special teams. Last year, of course, it was the senior Ryan Arnold, who I believe had six punt or kickoff returns for touchdowns. Uh, And Ben White trying to channel some of that. A great athlete in his own right, I think, 
I will think you, you will see him bust a few here sooner or later. Well, like you said, he had the one uh, last week against Franklin, but was called back on he, a penalty. Um, a, a very, very quick kid, uh, you know, a, a tremendous sprinter on the Dragon track team. And, uh, yeah, you get him some open field, uh, he's going to go. So Dragons come out first and 10 on their own 30-yard line. They're trailing Oil City 40 to nothing. Passmore in the gun. Borger in the backfield with him. Pitch is to Borger off the right side. Finds a little space. Puts the ball on the ground. Ball is on the ground, and Oil City has recovered. Oh, and that's the one thing you don't want if you're the Dragons looking to get something positive going here offensively, but it's the Oil City defense that comes up with the turnover and gets the ball back deep in Dragon territory. Uh, couldn't tell uh, from this side of the field who punched it out there, but uh, ball comes loose. Oil City falls on it, and they will take over, leading 46 0, 9 15 to go here in the third quarter. Brought to you by Freedom Investment. And it is first down on the Warren 33 yard line. Stall back to pass. Pressure from Arnold. Stall's got Stallman just over his head. Stallman had a step down the right side. That boy Stallman, another one of those impressive looking Oil City receivers, uh, just out of his outstretched hands. And, and uh, one of the few times we've seen Stall be inaccurate, inaccurate tonight. Not, not terribly inaccurate, but just missing uh, Stallman on that one. It would have been six. Yeah, just put it out of its reach there. We'll bring up a second and ten for Oil City. 8.25 to go here. We have, do have the running clock here in the second half. As the Oilers lead Warren 46 to nothing. And, and if you're Oil City too, this is a good time to work on your passing game with the running clock here in the second half. Second down now. Pitches to Russell. Finds some space up the middle. Almost broke free, but uh, number 56, Jake Davidson, trips him up. And uh, Davidson, one of those Sheffield players who's come over, and uh, we did hear that some of those guys were going to be able to work in and, and uh, see some time this week, even though they just started practice on yep. Monday. And again, Jake Davidson, probably um, a kid you're not surprised at all getting on the field here for Warren. He was one of... Uh, you know, one of the, the more experienced, one of the better, if not the best player for Sheffield. So uh, you have to imagine the learning curve was pretty quick for him. Nonetheless, Russell did pick up enough for the first down. Stall in trouble. Looked like a busted play there. And uh, Arnold brings him down from behind along with uh, 75, Alan McAllister. Yeah, but we've called Alan McAllister's name a few, few times tonight, the impressive sophomore lineman. Uh, who's part of that Youngsville co-op with Warren. So, again, uh, you know, co-ops work, folks, and we're glad they're working here in Warren County. Uh, and, again, it looked like uh, number 72, uh, Wyatt Lindsay, another one of those Sheffield players, uh, was in on that stop as well. So you're, you're seeing contributions from uh, all over Warren County on the defensive side of the ball tonight. Brings up a second and long for Oil City. Give is up the middle to Crocker. Goes tumbling forward up to the Warren 22-yard line. We'll bring up a third and looks like about six. About six is right there as Stallman comes off for the Oilers. And so one of those uh, Rare third downs for Oil City this game. Pitches to Russell. Tries to find his way through, but he's taken down from behind by Blake Arnold again. Arnold making his presence felt here in the second half. Yep. Uh, and a good point from one of our viewers, too. Here. Cam Russell, uh, part of the, of course, Oil City co-ops with Cranberry in football. And Cam Russell is actually a Cranberry student. Uh, so you're seeing co-ops work to great effect Uh you know, for both teams, and something we're seeing more and more of, and uh, and the kids really seem to be embracing it, and that's a very good thing. Well, you're absolutely right there, Andy. Uh, and, and that was one of the things, like you said, I, I talked to a number of the both the Sheffield and Warren players earlier this week as this co-op got underway, and they were all very excited about this opportunity. Fourth down now here for Oil City. 
They're going to go for it. Stall hands to Cole, who's met in the backfield by, guess who, Blake Arnold again. Yeah, Blake, Blake Arnold really giving the Dragons the emotional lift they need in the second half. Uh, you know, after the, after the turnover, it looked like uh, the Oilers were in prime position to score again, but Blake Arnold says, uh, I'll have none of that, thank you very much, and the Dragons will take over here from about, uh, about the 28-yard line, 27-yard line. So actually a big stop there for the, the Dragon defense. Now the question is, can the uh, Warren offense do anything with this turnover on downs? Passmore in the gun. Borger to his left. Passmore looking to throw. Has Swanson, and again, just a little high on that throw to Swanson. Michael Passmore is just a little bit off tonight. Yep, just a, just a little bit out of the outstretched arms of uh, Swanson, and that's a connection the Dragons really want to get going. They got it going last week against Franklin. Uh, Passmore and Swanson, uh, two of the unquestioned leaders on this football team, uh, just just a little bit out of sync here in the passing game. This brings up a second and ten for the Dragons. Four thirty to go here in the third quarter. Passmore looking to throw. He's under pressure. Scrambles away from it, tries to get Border in the flat. Couldn't quite hang on to it. Bring up third down. Yeah, but, and that's kind of been the story of the Dragon offense tonight uh, against this vaunted Oil City defense. Uh, you, some passes just out of the reach. Uh, some timing just maybe a split second off. And, uh, it, you know, it, it leads to an incompletion there and a third and ten. And, you know, Andy, after the big ground game that uh, he had last week, are you surprised they haven't tried to give Swanson the ball just on a handoff or a, a pitch more often? Than uh, I am a little bit. Uh, obviously, the score being what it is, they're going to look to throw the ball. But, yeah, um, uh, I am a little surprised that he hasn't, doesn't have more carries. So third and ten now for the Dragons. Passmore takes the snap, looking to throw. Looking deep down the sideline. Swanson had a step and comes down with it. Did he stay in bounds? No. Outstanding effort by James Swanson on the sideline there. Stallman right with him. Swanson, Swanson still saying he had it. The official <laughs> says no, he was out yeah, of bounds. He's going to keep arguing his case, and the official's going to keep telling him no. <laughs> and uh, Stallman, uh, along with Kiefer, two of the other kids in that co-op with Oil City and Cranberry, not to, not to keep harping on that point, but uh, you know, I, we just... Obviously, it's had a big effect here in Warren County and big effect at, for other schools as well. Uh, Oil City, one of them. And so it brings up another fourth down for the Dragons with three minutes to go here in the third quarter. Ziegler back on to punt. Stallman and Cole deep. And this time the punt is blocked. Blocked and picked up by Ziegler, and then he is tackled in the end zone. Not sure what the call is here, Brian. Uh, and they're gonna, the official's gonna bring it out here. I, I think you might have had an Oil City recovery inside the five, and down by contact, but we'll see. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna mark it down at the two, maybe three yeah, yard line. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So we talked about it, Ziegler narrowly avoided some of those earlier in the game this time he could not get the kick away and oil city takes over first and goal from the three yard line with uh, 240 to go here in the uh, freedom investment third quarter cole coming in with the play It's like Crocker and uh, Stack in the backfield here for Oil City. Stall under center. Give us to Crocker. No, he fakes it. Pitches off to Stack, who's going to walk right in for the touchdown. Boy, what a great fake there. And again, uh, as Oil City gets more points on the board, making it 52 to nothing here in the third quarter. So 2.14 to go here, and uh, Oil City has extended the lead. Uh, and like you said, Andy, a great fake by Stall on the, on the give up the middle, and then Stack was just had nobody around him on that pitch and walked it right in. Yeah, and again, Stahl's not going to get a lot of the headlines on this team, but just a, a very, very impressive quarterback. Does everything that, that a winning quarterback does. 
Try for the point after. This time the kick is up, and it is good! Oh, and, uh, Cole. and a uh, big roar of appreciation there from the Oil City sideline, as well as the fans here in attendance. Uh, 53 and nothing here, Oil City, 2.14 to go in the second quarter. And we did want to point out uh, Warren County School District giving two tickets uh, to every uh, oil two tickets to every player for Oil City. So we got a good contingent from Oil City here, and uh, you know we're happy that uh, that everyone was able to be accommodated here tonight. And of course, a uh, a good crowd for the Dragons as well as we deal with the uh, you know continued uncertain times, Brian, in the era of COVID nineteen. Uh, yeah, uh, the only thing certain about twenty twenty, Andy, is uncertainty. I think, <laughs> uh, and, and like you said again, uh, you know, changes again late yesterday afternoon. Uh, as uh, the Third Circuit Court of Appeals put a stay on the on the order rule, ruling Governor Wolf's uh, gathering limits unconstitutional, so we're still waiting for all of this to get resolved. And, and you know, and this, unfortunately, you know, for for these kids out yeah, here, it's one thing for you and I to sit up here and talk about it, but really, you know, it's the kids that are kind of getting jerked around a little bit, and you feel bad here as Oil City gets set to kick off. And the kick is deep. Ben White takes it inside the 10. He's going to turn around and bring it out. Looking for blockers right up the middle. Gets it out almost to the 30, the 29-yard line. Nice return there by Ben White. You caught that over his back shoulder. Yep, we see some of the athleticism there from White. And not to get, you know, we're not to belabor the point too much, but, uh, you know, I think we're like you folks. Uh, we you, we want to see some consistency. We want to see some stability, not just the back and forth, back and forth, I think. It has a lot of people frustrated. And to be perfectly honest, I think these kids here, not just on these two teams, but all over, uh, are handling it probably better than anyone, if we're being totally honest. <laughs> you know, I think and the, the most important thing is that they're they're on this field here tonight, getting a chance to play the game that they love. Absolutely. Uh, as the Dragons take over, first and 10 from their own 29. And we have a switch, and that is... Uh, Landon Duvalis in that quarterback for the Dragons. So Duvalis getting some uh, important reps here for for the Dragons with uh, Passmore, the the starter, a senior, going to be moving on next year. So uh, Landon Duvalis coming in, getting some reps. Uh, Duvalis is more of a traditional pocket passer where, where Passmore does a lot more with his with his legs. Yeah, but I know this Warren coaching staff, they like what Duvalis can do with his arm and uh, certainly uh, important to get him some reps here in the second half. So Duvalis in the gun. Takes a snap, looking to throw. Fires it high. Looking for uh, Cedric Arlene there. Yeah, probably a little bit of nerves here from Landon getting his his first reps of the evening here on a was become a cool early October night here in Warren. So Again, we, Oilers leading 53 to nothing as the clock winds down under 30 seconds in the third quarter. Uh, we'll see if the Dragons are going to run a play. It doesn't look like they are, so that's going to take us to the end here of the third quarter. You've been li listening to the Freedom Investment third quarter on D9 and 10 Sports. Dot com. Located at 229 Liberty Street in downtown Warren, Freedom Investment Management Group has a passion for helping people manage and preserve their wealth. Partners Rob Maring and Dave Close, along with all the professionals at Freedom Investment Management Group, are committed to providing the highest level of service to our clients. Every member of our team is experienced, educated, and passionate. We intentionally maintain a low client-to-team member ratio so that we can consistently deliver concierge-like service. Simply put, we are not like many other wealth management firms. Come experience the difference. Visit us online at Freedom wealthcoach.com Looking to outfit your team with a quick turnaround time? Then give BGM Custom Wears by Brookfield Glove a try. At BGM Custom Wear by Brookfield Glove, we believe businesses, individuals, and teams should be able to represent themselves at a reasonable price. We have access to thousands of different products like hats, polos, t-shirts, hoodies, bags, and more from your favorite brand. We also do screen printing, embroidery, and engraving. BGM Custom Wear by Brookfield Glove can be reached at 814-849-7324 or check us out online at brookfieldglove.com and like us on Facebook. You're listening to High School Sports on the D9 and 10 Sports.com radio network. Uh, 
And welcome back in here to War Memorial Field. Warren and Oil City. Oil City leads 53 to nothing. Duvlos back to pass, looking deep down the middle. Ben White had just broken away, but Duvlos didn't quite have enough under it uh, for White there. Up in a fourth down and probably a punting situation here for the Dragons. Uh, again, I know we've talked about Ben White a couple times tonight, but a kid, I, I think you'll look for Warren, the coaching staff, to get the ball in his hands more and more here as, as we progress through this season. Um, you know, you want to get the ball in the hands of your best athletes, and Ben Ben White, a junior, is one of those athletes. Okay, so Ziggler is on the punt again here for the Dragons. 11-15 uh, to go here in the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter being brought to you tonight by Borgar and Horsley. High arcing snap, and Ziggler just gets the kickoff again. Going to take a dragon bounce. <laughs> Cole thought about fielding it. <laughs> little gamesmanship going on there from Dakota Cole, I think. And I thought I heard one of the Oil City coaches over there say, let it go, let it go. <laughs> uh, Dakota wanted to pick it up, but uh, does, in fact, heed those words and let it go. And Oil City will take over here from uh, their own 35. And, you know, when you're a playmaker like Dakota Cole certainly is, yeah, you, you, you always want to get the ball. Yeah, <laughs> you, you want to pick up that ball and go. But, uh. but smart to let it go, and Oil City will take over here, first and 10 from their own 35-yard line. Stalin, a quarterback, and he will pitch to, that is number, looks like number 27, Seth Christie in the backfield for the Oilers. So Christie with a nice run there, his first touch of the game. Well, about a four-yard pickup there brings up a second and six for Oil City. And the Oilers certainly in uh, no hurry here with a running clock and uh, just over 10 minutes to go in the fourth quarter. They lead 53 to nothing. Uh, so it looks like Oil City might take a timeout here. And, and indeed is, they yeah. do. Yeah, so they're going to take a timeout. We're going to take it with them. You're listening to High School Football on d 9 sportscom Founded in 1998, Borger and Horsley, attorneys and counselors at Laws, located at 301 Market Street in Warren, in one of Warren's stately Victorian homes. Our firm takes great pride in providing legal service in a personal and caring manner. Contact us today at 814-723-5030. Hi, this is Chris Rossetti from D9and10sports.com. If you're like me, you may have experienced some aches and pains like a sore back, a stiff neck, or a wonky knee. Well, I've got the place for you. The Rehab Center, with six convenient locations, including in Brookville, Clarion, and Catanning, is the place to go. The friendly staff and knowledgeable doctors will get you back in the game quicker than quick. I know, I've been going to them since 2009. So the next time your back, neck, knee, shoulder, or anything else acts up, call them for an appointment at 724-478-1501. You're listening to High School Sports on the D9and10sports.com radio network. And we are back here at War Memorial Field. Brian Hagberg alongside Andy Close for D9and10sports.com. 9.53 to go, fourth quarter. Oil City leads Warren 53 to nothing. Uh, second and six for the Oilers here from their own 39-yard line. Yeah, I want to give a shout-out, too, to the Warren Dragon Marching Band. Of course, they uh, are in attendance tonight and have done a great job. Yeah, so the Oilers come out, and there's a change at quarterback. That is uh, Connor Highfield in, and snap. a fumbled snap. Uh, it looks like Highfield was able to uh, fall on it. But so his uh, f first play under center, and uh, they put the ball on the ground. We're going to have wholesale changes here for the Dragons as well. Alex Borger, Alan McAllister, Cody Vega, uh, Blake Arnold, and uh, 
all those guys coming off the field. Yeah. Third and six for Oil City. The pitch is to Christie, trying to find some space, breaks away from one tackle, trying to push forward for the first down. Going to be just a couple of yards short, but a big tough run there from Seth Christie. Yeah, boy, I'd like to see that from the second unit for Oil City. Uh, Going to bring up a fourth down and two. We'll see what the Oilers decide to do here in their own territory. As we're approaching 8.50 to go here in the fourth quarter, Oil City with a commanding 53-0 lead over the Warren Dragons here at War Memorial Field. Looks like the Oilers... Uh, looks like they're going to go for it here. Yep. So Highfield comes out under center. Christy, the deep man in the backfield. And the give is to Chrissy up the middle. Looks like he fell forward yep. enough for the first down. Another so, tough run. Yep. Boy, and that's one thing all these Oil City backs have in common. They are not afraid to run between the tackles. Big, physical, tough runners. And you saw it there from Christy able to lean forward and pick up the first down. So that'll bring up a fresh set of downs for the Oilers here as we approach eight minutes to go in the Borger and Horsley fourth quarter. And again, most of the... Uh, second unit on here for both squads here and we do want to remind you that coming up in the post game show we will be uh, announcing our jim kelly player of the game powered by the allegheny grill of foxburg as christie powers his way up the middle not going to get much on that but man is he proven tough to bring down yeah, uh, nick Tanucci, one of the dragons in there along with a host of others and uh, andy going back to the the jim kelly player of the game uh I mean, kind of, kind of hard to argue with the, with the Cam Russell's performance tonight. Well, so we're we're not going to leave everyone in suspense. Uh, no final decision has been made yet, folks. But again, <laughs> Cam Russell, uh, obviously brilliant again tonight, over 200 yards on the ground and four scores. Well, you know, Braden, Braden Crocker's had a couple of scores, and uh, Sean Stack's been in the end zone a few times. Stahl was played very well at quarterback. Second and ten, pitches to Christie off the right side. He's got some space, trying to get to the sideline. He does, but he does step out of bounds in Dragons territory. Austin Hayes helping run Christy out of bounds there for the Dragons. Again, another good looking run by Christy. So he gets down inside the Dragon 40 to the 37 yard line as we're under seven minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Oil City just has marched up and down the field all night against this Dragon defense. And the pitch is to Christie off the left side this time. Looking for the edge. He's got it. Makes a man miss and then is hit and brought down by Nick Panucci. Yeah, so a couple of nice plays here from Panucci, but yet again, another big run. Uh, from Christie and the Oiler offense, uh, the second unit is in business. Okay, so they are in the red zone now, first and 10 from the 11. As the Oilers, with 6.20 to go in the fourth quarter, are knocking on the door, leading Warren 53 to nothing. So Highfield comes out under center. Pitches to Christie off the right side. There is a flag down on the play as Christie goes. Christie's going to be marked out about the one, but it looks like this one might be coming yeah, back. It is a hold against the Oilers, so that one is going to come back. <laughs> but again, Christie just going side to side here yeah, against boy, this poor uh, defense. He's looked good here for sure. And again, a penalty there on the Oilers. They're fourth of the game. Been a relatively clean game on both sides as far as that goes. Uh, five penalties on the Dragons, four on the Oilers. So, uh, so again, pretty clean, but that one's going to set Oil City back 10 yards. Uh, and it is a spot foul on that hold, so it is going to be they're going to replay first down now from the 21, or sorry, excuse me, 26 yard line. So 
So first down now for the Oilers. And pitch to the left to Christy. He's got some blockers in front. Trying to stay on his feet, does, but then is finally wrestled out of bounds. Nick Panucci <laughs> goes up on his head on that. A little bit of the gymnastics act there from Panucci, but again, it's been Christy to the left, Christy to the right for the Oilers. And uh, again, another, uh, you know, Oil City has a stable of good backs, and uh, Christy looking good here for them here late in the second half. So with five minutes to go here in the fourth quarter, second and ten now for the Oilers and uh, Andy looking ahead a little bit you know obviously Oil City one of the favorites to uh, go on and, and compete for the District 10 title uh, but if you're the Dragons how do you bounce back from a, a loss like this well Christy gets it off the right side plowing his way into the we'll end get zone we'll get to that in a second <laughs> we will get to caps that. off an impressive drive with a touchdown run to make it 59 to nothing Oilers 440 to go here in the fourth quarter and that drive was all Seth Christie as the Oilers march right down the field again and are an extra point away from uh, hitting 60 for the night and as we touched on in the in the pregame show Andy you know this was just business as usual here for Oil City uh, as they line up to go for two uh, but again for for the Dragons now, they extend this this losing streak to the Oilers. The pitches to Christie off the left side. He will get in for the conversion. It's 61 nothing now. Yeah, you know, if... Uh, you know, <laughs> your Oil City, this has been... Uh, Sorry for the delay there, folks. If you're Oil City, this is exactly what you wanted. Um, you know, no letdowns after a big win over Connie. They have come in here and taken care of business tonight. And uh, if you're Warren, you know, this Warren team's not going to, uh, they're not going to quit. There's a lot of senior leadership on that team, a lot of kids with a lot of pride. And this is, uh, this one is going to sting for them to shore, for sure. I know they wanted to come in here and maybe shock a lot of people tonight. That obviously uh, did not happen. But again, you got guys like you know Brent Young and Micah Passmore, two-year captains, James Swanson, Alex Ziegler, uh, Alex Zertney, a whole host of seniors that uh, you know they're not gonna. This team's gonna come back fighting. Uh, this team's gonna come back fighting. They got again another good team, Meadville next week uh, at home. So you know they'll be looking to uh, you know put on a good performance for the home crowd next week and. Uh, yeah, I, I, this team's, I guess to reiterate the point, this team's not going to quit. You know, they're going to keep fighting, and uh, despite what happened here tonight. Uh, Oil City getting set to kick here again. Uh, ben White deep for the Dragons. Uh, Dakota Cole to kick off. And White tries to field it on the bounce. It gets by him, and he lets it go into the end zone for the touchback. Uh, again, smart play there from White. He tried to field it on the bounce. It got by him, and uh, he just let it go. Yep. So the Dragons love first and 10 here from the 20. 435, and we'll have a, a brief break here in the action as uh, we have an Oil City player down. It so is. we'll take a quick timeout. Hi, Chris Rossetti here from D9and10sports.com. I wanted to take a second to tell you about one of the best restaurants in all of western Pennsylvania, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, PA. With indoor and outdoor dining, you can enjoy prime rib all weekend long, or perhaps it is their full wings served on Thursday wing nights that you're after. From celebrating a special occasion to hanging out with family and friends, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg is the place to be. As they like to say, you come for the food and you stay for the view. Reserve your table today at AlleghenyGrill.com. Looking for a new or used car or truck, then look no further than Nolf Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram in Fairmont City. Nolf's selection of Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram truck brands coupled with an assortment of used vehicles provide customers a wide variety of buying options. They have the vehicle you need at the price you can afford. Nolf's service and parts team of highly qualified technicians is focused on providing exceptional service in a timely manner and its body shop can't be beat. Visit Nolf's online at nolfdodge.com, like them on Facebook, or stop by and see what they have to offer. 
Presenting KeyBank Smart Checking. Enjoy the freedom of free with an account that fits your lifestyle. The smart choice for a checking account is simple. It's the one that matches your needs and the way you want to live. That means an account with no monthly fees, so your money is your money. It means easy access to your money and digital tools that allow you to bank anytime, anywhere. And it means special tools that help you make even more financial progress, sometimes without even trying. Visit branch manager Tina Dell at 315 2nd Avenue in Warren, PA, or give her a call at 814 723 5 10 Sports Network. Uh, so that was uh, Jimmy Wilson was the uh, injured oiler down on the field there. And uh, he was able to get up and get off under his own power. Sorry, you guys. Got a uh, nice look at uh, Andy's close-up for the fourth quarter <laughs> as we're back underway here. Dragons take over first down and 10 from their own 20. Duvalis back to pass, and now he's going to tuck it and run. A lot of open space, and there he goes, still going across midfield and gets just knocked out of bounds at the uh, Oiler 35-yard line. What a run from Landon Dublis. Boy, and great to see there if you're Landon at a, a, a positive play there for the Dragons indeed. So a uh, 45-yard run there for uh, Dublis on first down with four minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Dragons on the Oil City 35-yard line. And Dublis back to pass again. Steph throws down the left sideline into double coverage. Ball is tipped. And if Ben White was almost able to reach back and grab it. Well, again, you see the arm strength there from Dublis. You just have a feeling the more reps he gets, the better he is going to get. And that was uh, number eight, uh, Dane Lee there on the coverage. Almost... Uh, Knocked, knocked that ball right into Ben White's hands, but he does knock it down. Brings up a second and ten. <laughs> Dublis back to pass. Steps up. Avoids pressure. Looking for our man again. He was looking for... Uh, for Tommy Nyquist, the uh, impressive young freshman there for the Dragons. And we do want to make a bit of a correction, folks. I think our, our roster here for Oil City is a bit off. That was uh, Isaiah Ossebacher doing the running for Oil City on that last drive. So, again, uh, our apologies there. It's, he capped the drive with a touchdown. Again, thank you to all our viewers here tonight. Third and 10 here for Warren from the Oil City 35. Duvelis back to pass. Fires over the middle. He's got it right. Who makes the shoestring grab at the 10-yard line? What a catch by Ben White. Boy, great to see if you're the Dragons there. Uh, it would be even better for them if they could get on the scoreboard here before uh, time runs out. Two minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Dragons are knocking on the doorstep. First down from the Oil City 10-yard line. Duvelis now changing the formation a bit. Takes a snap. Fires over the middle. And that ball is caught by Tommy Nyquist. What a nice catch by the freshman. There is a flag down and a penalty against the Dragons with a minute and a half to go here in the fourth quarter. Five, 
That was a uh, strong throw and, a, and an even stronger catch there from uh, Tommy Nyquist over the middle. And again, we talked about Duvalis, Brian. Uh, Tommy Nyquist, a very talented freshman. Uh, you know, he's going to do a lot of big things for the Dragons in his career. Again, just his uh, third career game here. So that penalty moves the Dragons back to the 19 with 1.34 to go here in the fourth quarter. Excuse me, they're going to back them up some more out to the uh, 24. But the Duval is showing no fear on this drive, throwing the ball into some tight spaces. And he's looking to throw again. And now he'll go up the middle. He's got some space. And he is just brought down from behind at the 15-yard uh, line. Well, you're right, Brian. Landon Duvalis, uh, this is great to see for the Dragons, making some plays with his arms and his feet here as the clock winds down in the fourth quarter. Uh, just about a minute to go here in the fourth quarter. Dragons with a second down from the 15. Or excuse me, the 16. Second and goal for the Dragons. Duvalis back to pass. Fires it into the flat, and that's uh, number 35, Sam Harvey for the Dragons, making the catch and going nowhere. So it looks like we're going to have time for maybe one more play here for the Dragons as the clock winds under 30 seconds to go here. Oilers again leading 61 to nothing. And again, a little surprising the Dragons are huddling with less than a minute to go. You'd think they want to try to get in the end zone. Duvalis back to pass. Looking. Look, <laughs> looks like there was some miscommunication there between Duvalis and the receivers. But nevertheless, that will do it. Our final here for War Memorial Field. Oil City 61. Warren nothing. Don't forget to stay tuned for the Rehab Center postgame show right here on D9and10sports.com. Hi, this is Chris Rosetti from D9and10sports.com. If you're like me, you may have experienced some aches and pains like a sore back, a stiff neck, or a wonky knee. Well, I've got the place for you, the Rehab Center, with six convenient locations, including in Brookville, Clarion, and Catanning, is the place to go. The friendly staff and knowledgeable doctors will get you back in the game quicker than quick. I know, I've been going to them since 2009. So the next time your back, neck, knee, shoulder, or anything else acts up, call them for an appointment at 724-478-1501. Hi, Chris Rossetti here from 9 and 10 sportscom I wanted to take a second to tell you about one of the best restaurants in all of western Pennsylvania, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, PA. With indoor and outdoor dining, you can enjoy prime rib all weekend long, or perhaps it is their full wing serve on Thursday that you're after. From celebrating a special occasion to hanging out with family and friends, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg is the place to be. As they like to say, you come for the food and you stay for the view. Reserve your table today at AlleghenyGrill.com. Founded in 1998, Borger and Horsley, attorneys and counselors at Laws, located at 301 Market Street in Warren, in one of Warren's stately Victorian homes. Our firm takes great pride in providing legal service in a personal and caring manner. Contact us today at 814-723-5030. And welcome into the Rehab Center postgame show here on D9and10sports.com. Uh, Brian Hagberg and Andy Close here at War Memorial Field where the Oil City Oilers have just defeated the Warren Dragons 61 to nothing. And now we're going to take a look at some of our out-of-town scores. And Andy, uh, what scores do we have going on uh, across uh, District 9 and 10 tonight? Well, uh, we'll start in District 10. Uh, didn't get a final on the Eisenhower Union City game, but Eisenhower was up big in the second half as they were well on their way to going 4-0. and Here, That score of interest, obviously, to folks here in Warren County. Elsewhere around District 10, and these are all finals, Farrell 51, Sharpsville 7, Hickory 28, Grove City nothing, Sharon 24, Slipper Rock 20, Lakeview 22, Sagertown 12, Northwestern goes to 4-0 and with a 25-8 win over Cambridge Springs. Harbor Creek 34, Corey 25, Fort LaBeouf 55, Fairview nothing, Connie at 42, Titusville 6, 
Meadville 60, Franklin nothing. Cathedral Prep 56, Butler 6, and Reynolds 29, West Middlesex 14. And in District 9 in a game brought to you also on D910sports.com by our own Chris Rossetti and Al Modrzejewski with Smithport, a 49-6 winner over Port Allegheny. Again, elsewhere in District 9, Brockway over Kalineski Valley, 32-14. Brookville defeated Monotaw, 47-14. Carn City blanks Punxsutawney, 49-0. Central Clarion County, 15. Dubois, 7. That is a final. In the fourth quarter, Keystone, 26. Curlinsville, 16. St. Mary's, 34. Ridgeway, 7. That's a final. Kane 51, Bradford 7. That's a final. Countersport leading El County Catholic in the fourth quarter, 39 to 20. And Clearfield in their return to the field, a 42 to 6 winner over Phillipsburg Osceola. All right, thank you, Andy, for those scores. Our out of town scoreboard tonight is brought to you by Swift Kennedy and Company. Swift Kennedy and Company insurance with integrity since 1921. Swift Kennedy and Company in Dubois is an independent property and casualty insurance agency in the official insurance agency of D9and10Sports.com. Founded in 1921 by Patrick J. Swift and Albert D. Kennedy, our success has been built on service and attention to our clients' needs. Our philosophy is service, and our hallmark is integrity. Visit Swift Kennedy and Company on the web at swiftkennedyandco.com or call them today at 814-371-5270. Swift Kennedy and Company, insurance with integrity since 1921. And we're back here at War Memorial Field where the Oil City Oilers have defeated the Warren Dragons 61 to nothing to uh, remain unbeaten on the year. And, uh, Andy, it's time to name our Jim Kelly player of the game powered by the Allegheny Grill of Foxburg, PA. And who do we got tonight? Brian, to the surprise of absolutely no one, Cam Russell is our Jim Kelly player of the game powered by the Allegheny Grill of Foxburg. Russell Again, District 10's leading rusher with another brilliant performance tonight. 19 carries, 214 yards, four touchdowns, 188 of those yards coming in the first half as the Oilers built a 40 to nothing lead. Again, Cam Russell, our Jim Kelly player of the game, powered by the Allegheny Grill of Foxburg. So I, I kind of spoiled it. In, in the fourth quarter, didn't I? Well, maybe a little bit. But let's, <laughs> let's be honest, there was not... There not was a not a lot of suspense there. <laughs> Again, um, just, I mean, what more can you say about Cam Russell? Another brilliant performance tonight. And he's, Brian, he's over 700 yards rushing through four games. That's that's quite impressive. Uh, and certainly, Oil City is no stranger to uh, impressive running back performances over the last few years. That's that's for sure. Uh, so congratulations to uh, Cam Russell, our Jim Kelly player of the game, powered by the Allegheny Grill of Foxburg. And congratulations to the Oilers on their 61 nothing win over the Dragons. Andy, do you have some more stats for us from tonight's game? I do. As I said, Russell with 214 yards. Uh, again, and we want to apologize, though, as Isaiah... Asabacher on that last drive for the Oilers. He finishes with 60 yards on the ground and a touchdown. Braden Crocker, a couple of scores, uh, two carries for nine yards and two receptions for 76 yards. Dakota Cole, a couple of receptions for 47 yards. Uh, the Quarterback Holden Stahl with a 122-yard passing performance on five of seven, excuse me, four of seven through the air. And looking on the dragon side, Alex Borger four carries for 10 yards. It was Landon Duvalis three carries for 55 yards. Uh, Micah Passmore had negative eight yards on the ground, but again, a lot of that was sack yardage uh, for Micah, who completed four of 12 passes for 27 yards, three of which went to Alex Borger for 20. One to Gage Schaefer for five, and Duvalis, uh, one or excuse me, two of three passing. Uh, ben White with the big 45-yard reception for the Dragons. Okay, tonight's stats were brought to you by Borger and Horsley attorneys and counselors at law here in Warren. And uh, we do want to say a special thank you to the Oil City Education Association and the Parents of Warren Football for helping us bring you tonight's live broadcast on D9and10sports.com Facebook Live. Our live stream was powered by the computer guru of Leaper this evening. And for Andy Close, this has been Brian Hagberg. You've been listening to the Rehab Center postgame show. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to this special pro- 
broadcast of high school football on D9 and 10 sports.com. We will see you next week. Have a good night, everybody.